do it. Good evening and welcome to episode 42 of Crit the Bed, otherwise known as, I think, episode 106 of all of our episodes uh-huh. that we've ever done. So we yeah. conveniently missed that 100th episode, which was about three months ago, I think. We only missed um, it. Which kind of sucks. That's very true. <laughs> yeah, yeah we missed it all. <laughs> but we're very happy to be here. Uh, fear not. Um, unfortunately, we do um, have... Annie is not able to join us this evening. She's not feeling too well, so send her best wishes. But she should be in chat at some point, so you can always give her a nice hello when she's there. Um, Ellie's running a touch late, but she will jump in as soon as she uh, as soon as she arrives. So she will be here. Uh, never fear. Uh, Pip the Powerful is here. Um, other than that, of course, we have Khalil, Alice, and Josh. How are you all? Grand. Good, buddy. I'm so excited about our 106th episode. I know, right? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's divisible by... Real milestone. I think, just, I think probably just two. 53. Yeah, it's divisible by two. So it's that classic episode. Everybody celebrates. Oh, and yeah. Ellie is in chat as well. Yay. Hello, 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 hello. And evening Pika Stupid 88. If it's uh, first time in two, chat. Isn't it surely okay. divisible by four? Uh, no, you can't divide 53 by another tick. No. Well, you could it'd be 26.5. Still no. Still no. Three. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, that's... <laughs> Annie says, I can't believe I'm missing the big 106. I know, we've been know, right? planning this for five years, and Annie, you've missed it. I'm sorry. It's the big <laughs> blowout episode when it all comes to a head. <laughs> hmm. But uh, but no, we're all happy to be here. Um, we have rounded out the sort of the Thunder Dark missions, and so uh, a little bit of a recap. Um, last last time, uh, you returned back to King Scodmore in the Thunder Dark. You've re- received your well earned and hard earned uh, remuneration for all of the things that you've done. You sort of talked to him about it. Um, uh, not a huge amount. It was more role play um, orientated last uh, last time. So, um, but you did get your uh, chainmail beard, uh, Khalil. So, <laughs> um, the lizard now is wearing a full on, very very heavy, very uh, noisy chainmail beard. You've got really? a ton, got a ton of money to keep. Yeah, because it's all made of chainmail, so it just clinks and clanks as he walks oh, around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it include yeah. a chainmail mustache or is it just a beard? Oh no, it goes yeah, it goes up above there as well. But it's had to be custom made because of your serpentine face. Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, really, we'll go. Get, we'll get into it. Really, uh, now is a good time to start planning. You did have a lot of interactions with Iris last time. You um, sort of put the onus on poor Iris. What do you mean, poor Iris? Yeah. Well, I said I could say poor Iris because that's me. Poor Tim. Poor Tim. Not poor Iris. <laughs> poor me. Um, no, it was good. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm actually really glad that you're using Iris a lot because uh, I didn't know when creating it, like if it would ever be used particularly. And, no, you um, do because if you didn't, you could just forget. <laughs> true. And yeah. now you can record everything, aka make me remember for you. Yeah. Great. It's worked yeah. out pretty well for us. Flawless every time. Oh. Flawless victory. Oh, flawless victory. Um, so you've got um, you've got an egg as well in your possession now. You've got care for shame egg. That's reminder number fifteen. Uh, reminder come? sixteen is wait. Sorry, what? Does it come with any instructions? <laughs> it does not come with any instructions. No. Okay. We've still got Dwayne. Why don't we get Dwayne to look after the secret? True. I thought Dwayne flew off into. Dwayne's our bitch for a hundred. Yeah, Where way. is Dwayne though? <laughs> couldn't come in. He couldn't come into the. Back. Couldn't come into Thunderduck because he went through the little side entrance, which was way too small for a rock oh, to enter. Okay. So Dwayne's yeah. just been um, hunting around the mountains since you've been in the Thunderduck. Okay. May have gotten into a fight with a certain bone dragon at some point. Ooh. Uh... Oh, I hope Dwayne's alright. Oh yeah. shit! No, I hope. Um, I hope. Oh no. Jim. Jim is okay. Jim. Yeah. Jim's Jim's okay. Jim's Jim. Uh, some of the some of the reminders you, you've made me write down are really weird. But you've got to address the red dragon and dragon's us. perch. Apparently, that's high priority. Uh, don't yeah. touch the money without t- talking to Parter. Remember that. Uh, when feeling peckish, handcuff nearest people. That's for Annie. That was just for Annie. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
and look for incest twins. Also, yeah, is a secret one for Mike as well. Maybe they combined. It's Maybe. There's so many to choose from. <laughs> so many of them. Yeah. Can, can I steer you away from uh, the last two, maybe? You oh. would think so, Tim, but we just yeah. keep going about them. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not up to you, Tim. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> well, I made my own bed, and now I have to drown in it. Yep. Which is a. <laughs> oh no, don't put me in there. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, also, a reminder 11 is Pip, you are a queen butt. I feel like I can say that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember that. Queen no. butt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that one. I don't know who put that in there, but so I th I'm pretty sure it was Chad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone put it in there. It wasn't me. I can't. I think what happened is you cut me off mid sentence, and it just ended up as you are a queen butt. You are a queen butt. I mean, yeah, let's cut that. Yeah. Probably. Probably. You are a yeah. queen butt. You are a queen butt. Uh, all right. So, did any of that are... like a reminder of what we're supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, right. did that did that spur us to battle? <laughs> I think it's just the dragon, way. wasn't it? Uh, not just the dragon, but also every 1.3 days, you're reminded to get this guy off my moon. That feels like the real quest. Moon man, moon man bad. I just had a migraine, and now I don't know why, but this we didn't put this in Iris, but since the migraine, um, all of the spells in the world have changed slightly. Yeah. All, all, all the necromancy it... ones, definitely, or some of them, enough of yes. them. Um, so there is now a, a significant switch, which does lead me into a little bit of housekeeping as well. Okay. So I haven't had a chance like to talk. To that seems like the most important thing that we could have forgotten. Yeah, that about. seems important. Yeah, I've not forgotten something we haven't put down. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, so there's two things about that. One, it is, it is a narrative thing that was always going to happen in the story at some point from a certain point that someone did something. I mean, it wasn't just because it touched myself. It, no. No, because you do that anyway. Um, <laughs> can't stop you from doing that. Um, it's because uh, something happened somewhere in the past, which created a domino effect that eventually this was going to happen. But on top of that, I also made it coincide with the brand new 2024 uh, wow. D&D rules. Nice. So there is, uh, it's worth talking to you all now about it, is you now have a choice. And we'll do this off, off stream, obviously. We're not going to make it do it now. But um, what I'm going to do is I'll probably respec your characters in the new 2024 rules, and mm -hmm. I'll send it over to you, and you can go and kind of decide if you want to keep your current 24 character as the 2014 characters as they are, or you'd like to migrate over to the 2024 rule set for your characters specifically. Don't worry about like having to upgrade, as it were, your characters. You don't have to. You can stick with the 2014. They will be completely compatible with the new version of D&D. But that's also why some of the spells will start to change as well, because there are new versions of them. I was going to say, what will change? You can yes, we can go back to uh, 3.5 if you want. Maybe I, maybe I will. Ma maybe I will. Maybe. We can go way back to original D&D, &D, when elf was a class, not a species. Oh. So your job no, was I'm elf. That far. Oh, okay, very well. Was elf? That's not what it's... Yeah, your job was an elf, not a species. Um, <laughs> yes, very weird. Dungeons and Dragons, the 2024 rule book. Um... We'll what D&D stands for? <laughs> uh, what, what does D&D stand for? I feel like we should have picked that one out by now, Josh. Josh have you just realised? <laughs> How long have we playing this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, for now, you don't have to worry about it. We'll stick with your current characters, and then we will uh, off-air have a look at if you want to upgrade, as it were. What's the, uh, uh, set. What's the biggest change? Is it just literally For like... you, Parter, you can talk when, you're, when you wild shape. Shit. Oh. And you can cast spells as you, in a wild shape. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, I'm 100%. I'm, I'm <laughs> going, 20, I'm going 2024, baby. 2024, baby. He didn't tell you about the negatives, though. No. Nah, it's fine. You are two feet tall. You're in. You are what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I can have a little chat with Pip. Yeah, there you go. Do you want a tete a tete? Yes. Mm. Pip, Pip. Um, so, with that. <laughs> Um, yep. With that, you've got a few options. Uh, I know you discussed uh, the black hole and sending that back to Elspeth. Yeah. There's a little, hey, yeah. we haven't forgotten about you. Here's a little present for Get you. Getting a hole, you shit. Um, there's a whole moon problem. And you know, you've uncovered a whole bunch of stuff about the heart of Viserius, the eye of Viserius, and all that jazz that's happening in the Shattermounts further north. 
than the Thunderdark. So there's a few bits and pieces now. Um, you also have, uh, let me just consult my calendar um, to tell you, oh, where's my calendar gone? There it is. There it is. Where are we? Not bad. Physical calendar. Yeah. Um, you are about 140, you've got about 140 days left on your countdown timer. Yeah. Great. Ooh, yeah. Oh no, sorry. No, T minus 134 days. Fuck. I just lost six days. Mm. <laughs> a week here. Yeah. Oh. Well, you shouldn't have gone on holiday. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm clubbing in Tenerife. Why are we still, um, pushing ourselves and getting pieces out of the world? The end of the world. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. <laughs> um, I reckon we should just do that ruthless efficiency like we did one episode fairly recently where we just get like six things ticked off. So let's just go, go north. Way. Hey. All right, Ellie, what, Ellie, what should we do? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Good. Can, can everyone we, kiss? <laughs> we all kiss and hold hands, Tim. Okay. Uh, for the entire episode, you have lost yep. a day, but you have all kissed and held hands. Oh, damn it. <laughs> this is what we just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> Another day. Is that what happened to the other six? Yep. <laughs> but what a day. What a day. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> what a day. Um, hey, Ellie, just so you know, you're live. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I hope kissing was the right answer. It was. Kissing's <laughs> always the right answer. That's what I thought. Can't go wrong yeah. with that. There's love yeah. in the room there. Yeah. I reckon we should go north to Dragon. Dragon? Yeah, Dragon. Red Dragon. Yeah, yes. we can either go to a dragon, a moon, or into bed with some incest ones. How are we going to get to that one? <laughs> or, or a black hole. Oh, or a black hole, sorry. Or black an observatory. Hole. Okay. Mm, so have, we got that? have we like how are we going to get on the moon? I'm assuming that like, we need the plane shift spell. The, right the moon, the moon has like lots of like facets to it. I feel like we also the moon is related to the observatory as well because there was the hashtag get this guy off my moon was related to the observatory and whatever is underneath it behind that door that looks like us. Um, the easiest one is a black hole. The next easiest one is the dragon hiding and the cultists that are after it. And then the moon one is pretty hard, but then there's also the puma or the whatever cat face man that is dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, was, um, was the dragon in a volcano? No, there is a volcano, and that's where the observatory is. An active uh, volcano. Yeah. And, 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 is, and an active volcano. Right. Tim, um, question yeah, on the map. Yeah. So we, where we are, we've got north goes yep. to Dragon, yep. which is in that town we've been to already. Dragon's Birch, yeah. Yeah. And then where are the other things? Like Where on the map in comparison to where we are? So we've actually, the, the Black Hole and Dragon's Perch are very close to each other. The Heart Viserius, the observatory, the Eye of Viserius, is way, way north, but in the same general trajectory. As the dragon? Uh, the, the moon, uh, yeah, as a dragon. The moon's above you in the sky. <laughs> which one is the moon, though? Yeah. How do we know which one? Uh, that's a good question, because there's 25 moons up there. I remember that. Let's go one yeah. at a time, destroy it. Um, uh, also, let's just go destroy all the moons. Yeah. Did you know that today the Earth gained another moon? Yes, it did. Um, so we, maybe we should do that as a ceremonial praise to our new moon lord. <laughs> to our new moon overlord. Yeah. <laughs> praise uh, our new moon king. Mm -hmm. I want to make it angry on its first day. <laughs> hey, uh, let's have him put in a good word for us. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> actually, it's his first day, so he probably doesn't want to be too overwhelmed. He probably just do so some true. light admin tasks. So true. Just get our butts out for the whole thing. Yeah. Start yeah, the moon. Yeah. moon the moon. Moon the moon. Moon the moon. It's moon the moon. Moon. Okay. Is that on the list? Oh, uh, that actually does that does relate to one of the reminders on the list, which is uh, Pip, you are a queen butt. Oh, yes. yeah. What? <laughs> I, mean, I will that... write it. Someone yeah. someone told me to write that in there. <laughs> we all bow down to you with our butt tail. I was going to yeah. say, I'm assuming that was meant as an insult, but I actually think that's an incredible compliment. Like, <laughs> queen, 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 queen of all butts. I am queen butt. The frogs have butts? <laughs> yes, of course they do. <laughs> Um, right. There's also a giant mother crab uh, southeast of somewhere. There is, uh, yeah, near the um, archipelago in the southeast. 
I reckon everything being north, north, and then north again, and then a little yeah. bit southeast. It's just all yeah. the north stuff. Level up and go back down, and we'll just walk past the. Level up and then you're just trying to Great. Yeah. Okay. So, are we are we black hole or? I think it's either black hole, uh, Dracovich, and Dead Man, mm -hmm. or Dragon, and. Uh, observatory there's like four different things that we could go do Which is, yeah. is anyone is anyone watching us is is anyone in the chat should we let the chat decide vote uh yeah. there, there are there are uh, 10 people in the chat and they could help us decide if you want All i could always set up a poll if you want do a poll, poll, poll. do you want me to do a poll for everyone black hole, um, black dead hole. Man. <laughs> black hole, normal poll options for the normal poll black hole chrome uh, poll red <laughs> Red dragon. Black hole. Red dragon. Uh, the black hole, red These all have to be colours now, because we've got black hole, red dragon. Black hole, red dragon. Uh, silver moon. Uh-oh. It broke down moon. immediately. Um, <laughs> well, I actually remember <laughs> having to sort of colours has made me forget what we're actually doing. <laughs> orange, uh, orange, observa orange observatory. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you remember what silver observatory and what no, colour? Go... It's a silver moon, Alice. You're confused with Paul. Silver moon. Observ gray observ observ orange, orange observatory because it's in a in an active volcano. Oh. There you go. It's inactive. <laughs> it's in a, it's in an active volcano. In an active. <laughs> an, an active volcano. And then the the gray the gray man. Yeah. And um, gray man. Gray man. Ah. <laughs> I say grey man. Right, so we up the poll will be up for let's say three minutes. An hour. <laughs> for one hour. We <laughs> will have one hour to we'll decide. We'll sit here. Finally deciding what we're gonna do. So if, if people actually re respond to this poll, are we actually then gonna do it or are we gonna no. wait it? Yeah. We wait until the they <laughs> decide the popular vote and then we do yeah. whatever the least popular one is. Okay. Yeah. So now people know how to vote. <laughs> well, the ones they want, they will vote for the least. That was a joke. Don't do that. Um, yeah, don't do that. Unless it's a double bluff, and then do do that. <laughs> but no, really, don't do that. Quick, really quick, while they're voting, um, Pip, I don't think you were here last time, and I don't think you met your husband. Oh yeah. I have a husband. Yeah. Yeah. Do I? You're, yes, you're pregnant. Do. My what? Your betrothal gift from your uh, dwarf lover. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Isn't he a bit of a loser? No, he was a uh, hunky little chunk. Oh, then great. <laughs> I've made some great choices. <laughs> yeah, he, um, because you, you had a, uh, a feast in your honor. And so he pretty much, um, was just, uh, serenading you the mm. entire evening. Nice. That sounds uh, about me. But but Pata also did get laid. Oh yeah, really loudly. Oh like, yeah, <laughs> you all listened. You were all there. We were tuned yeah. in. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that it oh, came through yeah. on the sending stones. <laughs> oh, you all had oh no, the sending stones, but your uh, telepathic link. Tony, so you all uh, had having to listen to Pata get it on. Oh, I learned things. <laughs> yeah, I the, dwarf, thing. the dwarf and woman. She taught me things that I never knew existed. Um. <laughs> We also hatched the plan, didn't we? Because like, he's going to live for 200 years or another 100 yeah, years. Yeah, they tried to bamboozle you is where I was trying to get to. Yeah. How? Because, remind me why. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't tell us. They, 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 yeah, they promised that you'd be queen, but they didn't tell you that they're going to live for like at least another 100 years. So you'll be dead oh, before yeah, you actually oh. become queen. So Great. we have the plan that we can just we've got like reincarnate and stuff. So we'll just keep on yeah. reincarnating. Mm. Also, we should just kill them. Wow. Well, <laughs> we were saying. Also, Joshua, how long do you live? How how long can you remain? Uh, I don't know. How, Who's how gonna die first? You. Um, Fur Furball. He's really old. Oh yeah, Chad. Yeah. Uh, I think Chad's got three years. Canonically, you I think you're about three years. Me, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Chad. Yeah, but there's only the world's got 140 days, so jokes on you yeah. guys. <laughs> we all die at the same time. <laughs> if you um, if you die of natural causes and then yeah. get reincarnated, how long do you live for after that? That's a very good question, actually. Uh, mm. I guess 
it doesn't the spell doesn't go into that kind of granular granular detail. <laughs> no, I don't expect you to play long enough to worry. <laughs> yeah. So I would say if we had to do that, I, I would get you to roll your age. Mm. I think. And we'd find out like what age you come back as. And, and because reincarnate is random, like you'd come back as a random species. And those mm -hmm. species, like if you came back as an elf, for example, you've got 750 years. Wow. Oh. You inherit all the stones, you'll rule forever. Yeah, mm. come, back, come back as a lizard wizard, eh? Yeah. The elven five. queen of the dwarven stronghold. Oh. Elf queen butt of <laughs> Thunderdark. <laughs> I, I vote we do that. Um, oh, uh, the poll has ended. Oh, I forgot about uh, that. <laughs> we had <laughs> we had one we had one vote for the grey man. We had one vote for the orange observatory. We had one vote for the silver moon. We had one vote for the red dragon. And we had one vote for the black hole. No, we didn't. We had three votes for the black hole. <laughs> so the black hole won. <laughs> yep. Black hole. That looks like and people Mike, want you Mike to go to the black hole. Mike voted for this wind. Yes. Naturally. Naturally. And Mike's vote is worth five votes. So. Yeah. Okay, so we're going for the twins. Even though there are no twins to go for. There are twins. Tim, we know your worlds. Yeah. <laughs> we know it's full of incestuous twins. <laughs> uh, off to the black hole then. Yeah, okay. do we know Do we know what to do with the black hole? Nope. Yes. <laughs> right. yeah, put it in that little box that you have that can send. Golders, speedy, speedy courier. courier. We're going to put the black hole golden. in the hmm. speedy courier box. And we're going to send it to Contessa what's her face Yep. Oh, Contessa. Hmm. The lady. That we Contessa. Know Contessa. Yep. <laughs> I'm waiting for Tim to fill in the blank of the name. <laughs> I will say I thought it was Elspeth, <laughs> but I might be wrong. That's the lady. Elspeth is the lady that gave Ellie the. Uh, oh, it was, wasn't it? I thought Elspeth was the lady inside Josh. <laughs> no, that was... I can't remember who she is. Different no, lady. Wait, lady was Listeria. Um, oh yeah. Lady Listeria. Um. Elspeth gave the letter about um, mm. mm -hmm. and Countessa, I don't know what her name was, is the was one that was reading. Was it Count Tessa? Is that why we're confused? <laughs> yeah, <Beth. laughs> it might be. Gentle Car. Lady Suspiria. Gentle Car? Suspiria, that's it, yeah. Um, Lady Where's Countessa? No, that's not in there. She's a sister of the vampire heart. She's a sister, world. yeah. Did, the black hole's just been growing since we left it, right? Like two years no. ago. No. You don't know what's happened to it. You literally just. <laughs> it's been a while. Just, yeah, you just. <laughs> out. Episodes. We knocked all of the things that were making it bigger inside of it, which yep. not getting it any bigger. How big did it get? Big What'd enough to fill a cave, but not big enough to eat the entire world. Okay. It's growing so, daily. My, right? my box fits 10 feet. Just so we're fully well, up. We can, we can make it smaller because all of the things it bigger was in large reduce. So if we just reduce, 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 reduce. <laughs> Good point. And this then reduce, we, reduce. we also need to do what she did and curse items mm. in, to go inside the box um, that have in large reduce on them so that when she opens the box, it gets bigger. And then we assume that that doesn't continue expanding it it's not our problem because we've sent it to her yeah <laughs> that's their problem yeah, that's a good point um, <laughs> i will let you know now that the to imbue a spell with a permanent spell effect takes one year of casting <laughs> the same spell onto that one object every single day but then that object to be imbued permanently with that spell <laughs> Great. and that's what they had hmm. and how many how many tan days are in a year <laughs> there are three hundred. Well, there are thirty-six ten days in a year. Okay, so we have enough time. <laughs> no, because that's that's one that's one day a week. What? A ten day. Oh. Right. We don't. Oh no! It's every day. You have to. Oh. You have to spend it every day for one year. So you have to cast it three hundred sixty times. How many days in a year? Sorry, I made three, that more complicated than I needed. Three hundred. Three hundred and sixty days. We don't so have that many. <laughs> Um, we could ask the that can ring that hour again. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, do you think she's really embarrassed that she spent a year trying to kill yeah. us and then we did, didn't die? 
Aren't, aren't we also aren't we also just powerful enough now to just go there and kick the shit <laughs> it's out? It's not the same. I want it to be throw her into the black hole. <laughs> we can just literally physically get her, take her to the black hole, throw her in it, and go fuck you, bye. What if we put her in the box? <laughs> Oh, yeah, and we send it to the black hole. <laughs> and send okay. the box to the black hole. Oh, and the black yeah. hole opens it up. And he's like, Ooh. So should we go find one then? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Stuff her in a box, or we make the box bigger. And then as long as she box. ends up in a black hole, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, chat. We're not doing what you said. <laughs> yeah, thanks, chat. But we're going to do option six, none of those. <laughs> <laughs> option six, put down an enemy who we've not spoken with or dealt with. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And you, and you wondered if I'd written the uh, next in-person game. Because <laughs> all the five things we had to do tonight, plus actually two or three more things that you mentioned, none of those things. <laughs> we go for option number nine. <laughs> okay. uh, so you're off to find Lady Elspeth. Uh, Lady Contessa. <laughs> I've got all of my ladies in, uh, in, the, in the mix. Can I really? the sister of the vampire woman? Yes. How? Uh, well, Peter of goblins. Yeah, did we leave her somewhere or? We, <laughs> we left her in the, um, wherever we went after the vampire haunted house, some sort of like stronghold. It was um, the goblin stronghold. That's what it, okay. That's yeah. where you get the eldest, elder sacks from. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's where we black hold, but where did we yes. meet her? That was outside of there, right? That was in like We've a. just come from some kind of stronghold, different like stronghold. Parrot. Like a car thing. Yeah. Like an... yeah we, went, we went there in the car thing, flying car thing, didn't we? You did, yeah. yeah. So where was that? That was in. that. Well, that was in the Shatter Mounts as well. Okay. So that was after Dragon's Perch. No, you went to the Goblin Stronghold first, and then you went to the Dragon Dragon's Perch, and they were fighting the Hobgoblins. Oh, no, Kobolds. No. God, it's, it's a long time ago. It was like two, three years ago. <laughs> yeah, at least three at this point. So there was an army and generals, and they were they were going to fight the, the Grey Man, and we were going to yeah. help them, and we were going to get the Hobgoblins to come help the Countessa in her fight against the Grey Man. Um, yes. And when we went to deal with them, her peace offering of the armor of some guy that she'd killed was actually cursed with a black hole. Um, but I can't remember where the place that we came from, where we got the armor was, but the vampire lady took us there because the Countessa was her sister. <laughs> you are correct. Like, you were in a trance just then, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> to access the memories from school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just your eyes go back in your head. Um, but that was where the vampire house was where Josh got his ghost arm and he still refuses to remember that it exists from week to week. So what I'm hearing is we have to go to the ghost house. We gotta go to the ghost house. Well, that's the vampire house. Also, wasn't wasn't there a portrait of us in there that we never yeah. asked about? No, just of just of Parter. Maybe we should figure it. that out. No, let's go do that. no, you never figure that out. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, we're, we're going let's figure it out now. 11 from the poll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do another poll with all these new things. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tim's finding out the name of the lady and where she's from. Yeah. I think we just go find her, put her in a box, throw her in a black hole, and then we'll feel better about this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but to find her, we need to go to the vampire house. Yeah. Okay, let's go and there. And if we're at the vampire house, we might as well investigate yeah. the party. <laughs> so, I found, so the uh, the glacial goblin games. So it's around here, around episode fifty-two. The Legend of the Elder Axe. <laughs> was That's it? Was there a way to teleport back there? Or do we have to? Didn't we have a car where we when we were there? We had a yes. flying car. You did, mm. yeah. Where did that go? Yeah. I think it exploded. Uh, you just, yeah. just. I think you buried it in like a, a snowdrift somewhere. <laughs> We forget our modes of transportation all the time. We need to remember to take, um, I forgot his name again. Dwayne. 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 Yeah. What's his name? Oh, his dragon's also, uh... last time we were at the vampire house, we killed one of the vampires by Annie, Annie came out of the sun. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
if it ever brought back to life. Not welcome out there. Oh, yeah. I guess to be, to be fair, it is spooky season. We should go to a vampire house. True. Uh, this is uh, Countess Kakalif. Kakalif. That yeah. rings a bell. That was Countess Kakalif and Countess Davion von Smursvich. <laughs> they were the two, they were the vampires that ran. Unring the, the bell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unring that bell. No, no, Wait, Countess Kakalif was the one that betrayed us? No, she was, the, that's oh. the sister. Oh, okay. Let's make sure we put the right vampire in the right box. Yeah. <laughs> that could be really awkward. That could be really awkward. So oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a vampire. Can Sounds you repeat like the name of the bad vampire? The bad woman? The bad sister? Uh, uh, yes. So, oh, oh, by the way, Arid was um, was the was Mike's... The one that we left Mike. in the sun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who, uh, um, I'm pretty sure it was part of the hated... Them. Yeah, I, I'm but you kept sure like I... knocking. You killed him, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, you killed him. <laughs> Fun for that. Yeah, because he had an umbrella, um, didn't he, or something? Like yeah, he had an umbrella, and then he just knocked it away, and he <laughs> caught on fire. And died. That's so um, insanely meta game of us that we genuinely like. Yeah, the sun killed him. <laughs> no, the sun killed him. Um, Countess Caliph <laughs> was the was the good sister. Yes. What? Yeah. I think we just go back there and pretend we don't remember them. Uh, so, La Lady <laughs> Spirit is the ghost them. inhabiting Parter's body, body eight yeah. of uh, uh, episode sixty-two, the pitter patter of the pitter parter of ghostly feet. Nice. Yeah. Of my naming, um, uh, was on the sixteenth. Oh my god, that's almost exactly four years ago. Sixteenth of August, twenty twenty. A vampire house. You never left. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So we're, we're getting closer and closer. Oh, Hot Rod. Uh, that was Mike. <laughs> I remembered Mike had named, actually did name. Oh, the uh, dog. Yeah. What was the Countess of Hot? The other one. I'm sorry, Tim. No, no, it's all good. The Count, uh, 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 Hanon, Seven uh, Spirit, Seven. Oh, blah, blah. What do you mean, say? Nearly there. I feel like you just read it. No, no, it wasn't that it. Uh, it wasn't that one. Who did well, you just did. say then? <laughs> that I immediately forgot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Spiria. No, it was just the Countess, but uh, I remember it's not. Yeah, Countess of Caleb and Countess of... So who's named Spiria? I also have you know. Lady Suspiria is the ghost woman yeah. who's living in Josh. Um, he lives in Parter and they've experimented in the bedroom with what she can grip and what <laughs> she can I remember that, unfortunately. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> that somehow I can't bleach from my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Nor should you. Um, that's also the, count the bad Countess is where we picked up Sebastian Sandals. Who was yep. our pet, and then our adopted child? Um, what happened to him? Who's got him now? No, no. Him go? Oh yeah, no, no. He's a while. He's um, deputy mayor. Deputy mayor. See, See? promoted. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta put the hard graft in. Oh, I just I... get kidnapped by strangers and then go on. I with think it. I was I... right by saying it was Elspeth. It was Elspeth? There's two Elspeths? I don't think there's two. Madam Elspeth. Oh, here we go. Madam Elspeth. Mike checks. What is this? <laughs> We're really making. Oh, no, it's not. No, no. Uh, I don't, yeah, Madam Elspeth is someone completely different. I don't think I wrote her name down. Okay, it's probably because it, it was just Countessa. <laughs> Call her the it bad Countessa. The yeah. bad Countessa. Uh, let's go to the vampire house. Um, I'm pretty sure you can teleport anywhere that um, we've been, been before. before. Yeah. So let's just go. Show up. <laughs> let's, let's just go. go. <laughs> Do we, are, we, are we done with the dwarves? Do the dwarves have anything else to offer oh, us? Yeah, we probably should say to the Banana Jalkin twins that we're not abandoning them again because I think we're supposed to help them with the Puma the land. Refugees, right? I right. found it. I found it. That was It was, um, sorry. Um, <laughs> It was Avriel Nornan. Avriel. Countess Avriel Nornan. Yeah. Honestly, Tim, you could have just made that up. 
<laughs> no, no, I've got it here. Some player characters episode twelve sixty-five. Okay. Countess Avril Nornan. Yeah, N O R N A N. Avril is A V A R E L L E. Avril Nornan. We need to find out where Nornan is. Nornan. 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 I'm growing up, Nornan. Great. Thanks. Okay. So do we do we try to find her from Vampire House then? Teleport. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, let's say to the twins, hey, we are going to um, cure your butt and yep. uh, fight fight the grey man with you. We also, since we last came to speak to you, have arranged for the dwarves to stop being dicks about refugees and for them to help out in this grey man fight. Um, so yep. you're welcome. We'll be back. We won't forget this time because we now have a uh, iPhone that will remind us. We have an iPhone? Siri. Iris. Iris. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> it's uh, okay. non specific and denominational, uh, completely unassociated uh, reminding service. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. By saying that, I probably just killed our stream. Sorry. No, <laughs> yep. no, we're talking about like a phone that's like a, just an eye, right? So we can do video calls through it with that now. Right. Just an eye. Exactly. Mm. Like a PlayStation Eye. Um. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Transport. Let's so you said you've never met these people before? What did you say? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? And that we've never met these people yeah. before? I <laughs> just show up like, hey, and you are? And you are? And, yeah. and who are you? Hey, um, Lady Suspiria can can put in a good word for our return. That's true. Right, Claire? Sure. I've not spoken to her for a while, so I'm not sure if she'll know. Uh... She lives inside your flesh. You've ghosted. you ghosted, ghosted a woman. I've yeah. ghosted a ghost. She was living inside you. <laughs> she, she refused to do a few things and... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Harder, canonically a fuckboy. <laughs> All men are the same. <laughs> Wow, Paula. Um, so you had to sit through you and that dwarf as well. Like she was the head of the she was involved. Was she, she was, involved. was she not? Because she, she, had she, had, she had to be involved, otherwise I was just exactly harmless and one handing it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Paula's used to that. <laughs> nice. To be honest, um, I think Parta was receiving rather than anything. So, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm slightly more elaborate. <laughs> We're vampire house. <laughs> okay, you all join hands. Uh, oh, no, you don't I necessarily want to join hands. And I'm not touching fire. <laughs> Sorry, it's just furious. It's fine. It's not mine. Okay. Um, so, two things, really. Um, I need, first of all, Chad to roll a d6 for me, please. Oh, fuck. I forgot this is contingent on me. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were having to roll for your weird quirky thing. That is, um, that is it. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, I thought this was rolling for teleportation. Oh, fuck. It All will right, also six. be that. Fuck. Six. <laughs> six. So that's a three. This is a one, one and three. No, a six. Uh, oh, okay. Um, and can for me, please, roll Z20. Eleven. And then as per... <laughs> as per usual, <laughs> I shall message you. No, uh, no, what you've rolling? Uh, no, <laughs> it's worth it. I swear it's worth it. I just, I just typed in to find you on WhatsApp. I just typed in Chad. I was like, that's not gonna. <laughs> 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 um, I can't believe that you have the option to have that removed and for this not to be a problem in our lives anymore. And you chose instead to learn more secrets. Yep. <laughs> Hmm? So, are we ready? Did, I, Chad? did this happen this morning? <laughs> yep. What? It just happened now. Yeah, just happened now. What is it? Okay. Okay. Everybody joins hand? Well, I suppose what someone grabs the Aldous axe tentatively. I think I'd rather uh, grab the Aldous axe than part his hand. Yeah. 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 
Hey. <laughs> At least you kind of know where the Elder Sacks has been. Yeah. Um, and uh, can you also roll me a d100 then, please, as you teleport? Yeah. There is somewhere you've been before, so it's somewhere you're familiar with. So it's, it's true. a little bit less likely yeah. you'll um, fuck it up. Does anyone notice this like ghostly sheen going across my body? Yeah, yeah. it's a little bit haunted. How do you say it? Yeah, yeah. Lady to Spirit. Lady to Spirit? What is happening? <laughs> uh, 31. That's fine. That's okay. Or somewhere that you've been before and you're familiar with. Okay, good. So uh, you all clutch digits and uh, part a, uh, not part a, sorry, Chad casts uh, teleport and <laughs> disappear. You get pushed through time and space and then you re um inside the mansion in the main foyer. And immediately you're greeted by an horrendous stench. Ooh. Oh, I took us to the wrong place. You look up and you see um, from the rafters some chains hanging down. And uh, mixed inside the chains looks to be like sloughed, rotting flesh. And below it is just like a pool of like rotting pulp. Does it look it. like the vampire house? You recognise this. This is definitely 100% the mansion that used to be in. The vegan vampire house has got <laughs> lots of flesh hanging from La the ceiling. Last time, last time you were here, you found uh, the Count had been tortured and his skin and flayed alive. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when, did we, when did that happen? <laughs> last time you visited here. It was up on the wall, wasn't it? Yeah. And now you since then, happen. his flesh has just kind of melted off and Oh. Sloughed onto the floor. So no Can we reincarnate? Did we ask any questions or did we just leave? <laughs> That's four they years were dead. We don't need to worry about that now. Yeah, they were dead last time. Uh, oh. but, and they've not moved from the ceiling, so I assume no one's here to clean up. It's just empty. Yeah, it's just a bunch oh. of flies like buzzing over the sloughed flesh. Does that the include the sister? Yeah. She was also died here as well. So everyone's dead. No sign of life. Let's well, I, didn't say, I didn't say there was no sign of life. I just, I've just i given you the what you see before you right now. We can still have a look at the pictures on the wall. And yeah, they didn't, they didn't hang and flail the... the <laughs> like Kat said, on the upside, free mansion? Yep, it's ours now. <laughs> why, don't we, why, don't we turn it, why don't we turn it into part of our franchise? You just want to start peeing everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> we could turn it into the offices. Mm. The corporate, yeah. <laughs> corporate headquarters. <laughs> um, I'm just saying whether we can... Uh, huh. <laughs> can we tell if anybody else is in the house at the moment while Josh you just... go, yeah, Absolutely, you can go exploring. Would you like to go exploring? Uh, yeah, because I feel pretty good about this. Okay. Feel pretty good about the flesh house? Feel really good about the flesh house. I'm very excited at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay. Why don't you, Chad, roll a survival check? God damn it. Oh, and also, I forgot, we, we always keep forgetting this. But it's something we should be doing all of the time. Thirteen. Um, um, while attuned to the artifact, you are physically ill and have disadvantage on any ability check. And we always forget you do this. So every ability check we've ever done should always be at disadvantage. Right. We need to go back to the dwarves and like change our mind and let them chat yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. But remember how the dragon died? <laughs> <laughs> like in a round. <laughs> Uh, okay, with the disadvantage, I got a 13. Okay, well, that's still pretty good. Um, you With a 13, you know that someone's been here, not recently, but not in the distant past either. You Great, think maybe thanks, in the Chad. last Maybe in the last <laughs> month, there's Good someone things. who's been in here. So after you were last here, someone's been in the mansion. Guys, I think somebody else is in the house right now. Oh. <laughs> Is it us? 
Can we no. do? Oh. Hmm. Whereabouts do you think they are? Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, well, you don't know. I d I don't know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I cast detect thoughts and see whether I can? <laughs> What's with them? He's being weird again. Connect. <laughs> I hate. That. I, hate <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I so, can see where this is going. Uh, you want to do detect thoughts? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, do I? Yeah, for certain creatures, though, right? Can you roll as you open your mind to accept in telepathic? Uh, well, to receive telepathic communication. Yeah. Can you roll for me, please, an intelligence saving throw? Oh, God. I'm not very intelligent. That's the problem. Oh, no. 18. Oh, that's 19 good. minus 1. Yeah. You open it, uh, your mind, to uh, start broadcasting or receiving telepathic communication. And as soon as you do, you start getting bombarded with like t uh, oh, psychic God. imagery. You just see flashes of images in your mind. But before anything else untoward happens, you close, you sever that connection. Shit. Um, was there anything that I could kind of decipher from it? Is there anything that stood out? Uh, you start getting images of the outside of this mansion back when it was uh, less um, less cold up here. So it was, it was more green. It was a sunny day. You saw about maybe about a two dozen people standing outside on the lawn all lining up whilst the artist was painting their portrait the portrait and you get a flash of that you get a flash of the basement of the mansion which used to be a sanitarium and um there were like rooms cordoned off uh, where people were taken here if they had suffered like incurable madness and you remember um sort of walking up and down the corridor checking through the whole uh, the windows in each cell um looking on the patients that are living here did you have incurable madness oh my god i've got chills um <laughs> <They're multiple>. oh. <laughs> um I, I genuinely don't know how to feel to that um i'm sorry i'm gonna pass on to this one um, can know. you ask Lady Superior if she remembers any of the, the madness place? Are you guys on speaking terms? Or just hand? <laughs> we're, we're, we're back on talking terms. We've uh, sorted our differences. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to her. She'll be like, uh, Mrs. Superior, did you uh, did you see that as well? I'm assuming you did. It's been 84 years. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I was speaking to you a couple of weeks back, you know. Uh, well, it's good to hear from you again, Carter. We don't <laughs> talk as much as we used to. Uh, how are you? I think you know how I am. I forgot you were in there for a while, so mm, well, I apologise. Okay, well, I, 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 couldn't, I, can't, I can't close my eyes oh. as I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> to give yourself and your... Uh, lovely young lady friend her uh, uh, privacy so apologies for that but um, anyway uh, well uh, I, I worked here quite a number of years ago and uh, but just before my time um, this place used to be a, um, a temple of healing so people would be brought here who were um, suffering from long term madness um, to try and give them the best care possible. When um, the magic failed and um, other more medicinal means didn't have any effect on them, they had to be uh, made comfortable. And so uh, apparently the the owner of this uh, the mansion had the basement converted into a bunch of cells where they could bring people to uh, sort of be uh, um, looked after on a more um, 24 hour basis to keep, keep them away from like hurting themselves or other. How, uh, is there a chance that they're still in there? Anybody maybe in the cells downstairs still? 
Well, when I when I started working here, um, they'd um, bricked off the basement area to the mansion, so um, I never saw it was down there. Right, guys, I think there might be a secret area with uh, probably some dodgy well, stuff. I guess, I guess we're done now, so I'll just go... No, Bye. no, no. <laughs> I'll speak to you again in three no, years. No, I, I need you, Sophia. If you come back here, please. Oh, no, I'm so here. Sorry. Um, I um, I'm a bit confused by some of the pictures I saw. I was in a field watching paintings, and when I was last here, there was a picture of me on the wall. I I don't understand what's going on. Anything you can tell me? Oh, you're asking me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking uh, you. Uh, uh, um, I, I saw it too. Let me just do also a saving throw to see if I managed to get... Oh, no, I was... It, um, it was very confusing for me. Uh, I, I only got flashes of the things that you see, so it sounds like you you know more than I do, Chad. And also that... that and also that... Chad, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um... Because also, um, <laughs> it, it was the paint. I came from that painting that you saw of yourself. Oh, of course she did. Sorry, I forgot about that. Well, um, she came from the painting. I've got, no rec I've got no recollection of that. Why did you just agree? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I genuinely don't remember how I got her in me. <laughs> Take yeah, me down. That's all they all say. You, you were... You're exploring the mansion. This is last yeah. time you. This is last time you're here when yeah, you yeah. found the count and countess that eviscerated. Yeah. And you're exploring it. Um. And she was a ghost. You're on your own, and she just kind of went into your body. That was it. Yeah. That was just after you saw that painting hanging in a frame on the wall. Um. And when you looked at it really closely, it looked like a really old oil painting of people that used to work here. Mm. And when you examined it, you saw um, amongst everybody else there was a photo of you. Well, not a photo, but an oil painting of you in uh, what looked to be like um, <laughs> cl clothes that one would use for like in a, in a medical facility, I suppose. So you're wearing like scrub, what would be like a medieval scrub, so probably yeah. like a leather apron. Looked like you worked here. Okay. We should go and see if there's any like records in the basement. Yeah, I think we should try and try and get into it. Yeah. Let's get distracted. Fuck it. Yeah. Iris. <laughs> That's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. You want to talk to Iris? Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, Iris. Actually, no. No, I'll talk to Iris later. We'll add it onto the, uh, the to do list if we get distracted. As soon as we add it oh, to yeah. the to do list, we won't do it, though. So You're adding to your to do list to add to the to do list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You need another Iris. device. <laughs> Remind me later to tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let me okay. just... Wait, basement? Right. Let's do Basement. Let's basement boys. Together. Together. There you go, Tim. You wanted a new name for us. Okay, basement boys. <laughs> um, still doesn't solve the problem of it being heavily gendered, but <laughs> that was my initial problem. Uh, an entirely a problem of my own making. Um, so it doesn't take you long to find the uh, bricked up area because it's fairly obvious. Um, it, it looks like it's been done for a long time ago. So this is not like recent mortar. Um, but it, it is a passageway that used to exist and has now been fully bricked up and part of a corridor, a T-junction. Presumably it used to be like a crossroads. Maybe it went down or maybe there's a corridor that kept on going further and then went into the basement further on. You're not, not entirely sure. But there is a brick. Uh, doorway in front of you. I'm not on it. We, that's to say. Uh, very heavy thump, thump, thump. Almost no echo to it. It's like hitting solid, solid stone. Can I, I cast knock? Remember, I have knock. Guys, I used, I have, I have a, a knock spell. Do Can you calm down a little bit, Chad? Chad, Chad, just. Okay. Knock, knock. It's hard to beat. Cast an owl treat. Yeah. Punch him in the so face. Knock him off the beat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, the energy yeah. is the like peppy energy part of the problem today. Is that what the crisis is for the day? Weirdly, weirdly no. Okay. <laughs> <It's> compensating. <laughs> um, I will let you know now, uh, 
for you to use the knock spell, it has to be a, an actual door, and this is just oh. a bricked up opening, so knock I reckon, wouldn't work. I reckon we'll just it look at AI. that choose an object you can see with it. Is that the right one? Yeah, it is. The object can be a door, a box, a chest, a set of manacles, a padlock, or another object that contains a mundane or magical means to prevent access. Yeah. Uh, a wall. A wall. A wall. Does, does a wall... Does a wall, would a wall constitute as preventing access to something else? I mean, we can't access it. I think in this instance, the no. Oh. Oh. So otherwise, you'd just be able to cast this on a wall and you'd be able to just use the wall as a door. Hey, you've got a mace, right? Just smash yeah. through. I think, yeah. I think it's... I mean, it's completely... You're going to easily be able to get through it because it's just a bricked up wall. <laughs> but just in context of that spell, I don't think it would work in this instance. Fine. Uh, the one time but, I can use this spell. <laughs> the one time well, you remember that you got that spell, you can't use it. Uh, but think like Meld Stone that I know Partis got, or literally brute forcing it. Um, it'll take you a little while to brute force your way through it, but you could do that. But, well. um, can I use my flail as a type four, type five battering ram? Because of course, yeah, you got that. <laughs> I want to actually press a button. Sure. Yeah. So you your normal flail, you press a button. Um, the chain retracts into it. And it kind of folds out until it becomes like one of those police battering rams, but it's still hexagonal mm. in its shape. It's got two handles on it. You can start. Um, okay, so roll for me, please. A, um, I think a roll to attack with your flail. Uh, 18. 18 will definitely hit a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, but I can't knock on a wall. <laughs> It would do well, a ten plus a plus ten bonus to strength checks made to break through doors, barricades, and other barriers. Yes, exactly. Oh, right. So you you get plus ten on top of that. So yeah, you easily hit it. Uh, oh, well, I suppose actually it's a, it's an opposed strength check. So it's just it's. I'm not even going to make you roll anything. Just like with like one or two or even just three hits with the battering ram. <laughs> Eventually, you're just through. Um, it kind of. Um, you obliterate a big hole in the wall. You push the rest of the old brickwork through, and immediately you just get a lung full of oh of dust from the what you've just destroyed, but also just really really stale air coming from here, but, air that hasn't like seen the light of day for maybe a hundred years or more. I don't have like a fun function on the flail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a uh, dehumidify on your flail. No, it's weird that it doesn't come with that. I'll use my wings to kind of. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> In fact, my wings are just smoke, so it just makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, you just get more smoke. <laughs> um, yeah. But eventually it dissipates, the dust dissipates, and uh, it's pitch black inside, but you can now go down. And there is indeed wow. an immediate staircase going downwards. I'll um, I'll cast my Druidcraft as well, get a little bit of light. Nice. Warm. To cast a cantrip of light yeah. uh, on your staff. And you poke your staff through the hole, and yeah, you can see that there is goes down maybe about twenty feet. Let's do it. Okay, who's going Should first? Go? I'll go first. I'll go second with the torch. Okay, and then I'll, I'll go last. I'm the smallest. <laughs> okay, you go last. Wait, so that's uh, the most suspicious thing you said all day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, then Aya, when you're down. Um, you get into a hallway um, and either side there's maybe about half a dozen doors on the left hand side half a dozen doors on the right hand side um, but immediately to your right there is an alcove that looks like it's got um, a wooden desk that is collapsed under age so the legs that are closest to you have rotted away so the desk itself has fallen towards you in like a ramp and then a whole bunch of like journals and papers have been scattered across the floor, most of which have been water damaged um, through the years. There's a few like really old yellow um, tomes or journals, etc. And there's also what looks to be a wooden filing cabinet off to one corner that hasn't succumbed as badly to age as the rest of the stuff that's here. But yes, yeah, six doors on the left, six doors on the right, and there looks to be a, a more open area and directly down the corridor in front of you. I feel like that wooden cabinet is probably likely for staff records. Yeah. Let's have a look if there's any to raise. Okay. 
Um, so you go over. Please roll an investigation check for me, please. As you know, first of all, do a sleight of hand check mm-hmm. with all the. Um, sorry. All of us. Are. Whoever's going for the uh, like filing cabinet. Vato, are you going for the filing cabinet? Um, I've got plus one. Who's got best sleight of hand? I have plus five. No, oh, Pip definitely. Me. Get your little grungy hands in there. <laughs> I used that my hands. Right, roll a sleight of hand of check because you know that this filing cabinet is very fragile. Ooh. Um, what's that? A fifteen plus five. Fif- Twenty. Yeah, you just very delicately get your grung, the suckered grung hangs, and you just carefully pull out one of the drawers. You can see a lot of yellowed files in here, some of which have um, started to degrade over time. But the further, like towards the middle, really, are the most the better preserved ones, either end, um, they've started to kind of crumble o- over time. Are they in these... alphabetical order? Uh, a roll investigation check as you flip through them. 16 plus 4. It Ooh. very much looks like this is all in alphabetical order. Little tabs with the alphabet on them. Mm. Um... Do you, do you want me to find Therese and have a look? Yeah, I think so. Or anything else that stands out, but I feel like if we want to know why he existed in a photo, maybe it was something just looked like him. Maybe what you should I... not look for contestants. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> Is it opposite day? No. no. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> um, what about I look for any names that are familiar to us? Okay. Um, you do in you do find under the T section, uh, Tere, comma Boothwick. Boothwick. Boothwick yeah. Tere. Boothwick Terray. Why has he been this whole time? <laughs> Boothwick okay. Terray. I suction it out. Um, fortunately, the T's uh, are T's as in T apostrophe S, not T as in T E A S T E S. Um, T- it's not teasing you. Uh, but you do tease it out. <laughs> and um, it is uh, a file on staff members. Um, and Boothwick Terray. Uh, is a staff member, um, used to be one of the wardens here um, about maybe a century and a half ago, and was empl- employed uh, on a full-time basis to look after the insanatorium, the, the people who are suffering from long-term madness that were, was incurable. So it's just one of those who do you what think are. Yeah, yeah, does he, does he yeah, have yeah, yeah. his like eye color, height... <laughs> Fetishes. And, <laughs> and status, fetishes, hand status, yeah. you know, the basics. They, yeah, they had to go through a relatively rigorous um, interview process um, to make sure, that, like, they're they're it's really rigorous if it had that. Yeah, like their criminal record, um, their description as well, because they don't want anyone anyone to come down here. Um, think even like blood type as well, because there are shapeshifters in the world that people can use glamours and stuff. So there is a pretty rigorous. Um, Way of coming down here as well. Am um, I? Am I recognising? Like, does the does the name sort of resonate with me? Do, am I sort of able to know who this person is in relation to my family tree? Uh, thinking about it, uh, there was a your great great grandfather was named Boothwick. How's that? What a mystery. Okay. They couldn't possibly be the same person. <laughs> no, well, probably not. It's, close. No, I mean... <laughs> it's a mystery. Guess we'll never know. <laughs> um, did we just complete the quest? Do we just go now? Easy. Done. <laughs> the quest is, oh, oh, it's your granddad. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, no, the case down. let's get out of here. <laughs> there um, are... This- there are two more drawers in the filing cabinet. There's obviously all the stuff that's scattered on the floor, and of course, there's the six, oh, well, the twelve um, padded rooms and the big open area towards the back. Or you could just GTFO. Mm. No, I don't. I mean, this is our house now. We could come back whenever we want. 
We are going to have to furnish the basement. And just clean up the goop. I just feel like we've scratched the surface here, though. Okay. <laughs> but my granddad. <laughs> I want to find my granddad. Now you were the hand telling you that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking to... Yeah, can I talk to some spirit? <laughs> Do this. Yeah, sure. Um, did, uh, can I... Yeah, okay. Suspiria, did you know my? Ah. Did you know my grandfather, my great grandfather? Oh, who is he? Uh, who? Sorry, uh, big boy Tariq. What was his name? <laughs> big, big boy Tariq. Big boy, 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 boy Boothwick. Boothwick. Big boy, big boy Boothwick. That's his nickname in the family. Uh, we we weren't um, we weren't uh, allowed to, to ask uh, many questions. Um, but uh, uh, one thing I do know about uh, what happened here, because the uh, the basement was only bricked up maybe about 10 or 15 years before I started work here, um, was that um, there was a gruesome series of murders down here. That's why they just bricked it up. Boothwick but, was a serial killer. <laughs> but by the wardens or the inmates? I, that there was different stories. Some said uh, one of the wardens went crazy and just started killing all of the patients. Some people say that it was one of the uh, inmates here that got loose and slashed everybody up, uh, and they just had to break it up before they could escape. Uh, some people were saying that uh, it was just a traveller in the night that came to the mansion um, under the cover of darkness and stabbed the... Uh, the uh, maitre d and uh, made their way and it was easy pickings for them down here in the basement so um, i don't know which one was true i'm afraid right iris can you set a reminder to look into my history my family tree thank you <laughs> are there more are there more to raise in the folders that's good that's a good question god damn it god damn it <laughs> Reminder added to explore your family tree. Thank you very much. Um, Have a satisfactory day. Satisfactory. And have a satisfactory day. Um, Chad, how much do you like the music? Oh, it's my favorite music. I thought, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to listen to it all the time. Hey, Iris. <laughs> Yes! Where do you get the copyright to this music from, Iris? It is copyright free. Did you make it yourself? This. I this, did. Is... this is AI generated music. Uh, Iris, um, at 5 o'clock in the morning every morning, can you play this music to Chad for approximately 10 minutes? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. I you're welcome. I'm I'm so happy happy yeah, good. <laughs> you are a uh, great friend, Potter. <laughs> I try my best, Chad. I just want to see you happy. <laughs> um, you will never pay for this. <laughs> Why would I, he? I'm scared. Man. I'm scared. Um. Should we? I mean, look, I'm I'm up for checking out what else is downstairs, but this is nothing to do with the other stuff we planned on doing. Nothing. Can you have something nothing to do with anything? No, we really <laughs> sidetracked for us with nothing. But can you ask Lady Sperry if she knows anything about Countess uh, Avril Nan? Uh, did, did you hear that, Sperry? Uh, yes, I, I, I heard that. Uh, can, I, hang on, can I be putting this on the um, chat? The head sure. Chat? Yeah, as long as um, Chad's okay with it. Is it Chad's <laughs> permission? Chad? Are you putting... I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. want to go to our, uh, our WhatsApp admin. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, she was the estranged sister of the, um, the Countess uh, here. So they didn't get on very well, the two sisters. They had two very, very different ideas about how they should progress with uh, vampirism in general. So uh, the Count and Countess here uh, offered a refuge 
to uh, any and all undead who are misunderstood and wish to lift the stigma of uh, the undead that were living here. Yeah. Um, but uh, yes, Countess uh, Contessa was uh, had different ideas. She, uh, oh no, not Contessa, uh, Avril Nornan. Um, Avriel Nornan, uh, she uh, believed that uh, vampires were top of the food chain and they shouldn't really be um, defanged as it were and made to be feel ashamed of who they were. Um, what does she not like? Where does she live? Um, who are her like trusted people? How would you- how would one trick her into getting into a box so that we could throw her in a bag? Uh, I can answer some of these questions. Um, well, hypothetically, <laughs> hypothetically, uh, I guess hmm, well, she likes to feed. So putting someone uh, who is uh, particularly um, tasty for a vampire in a box that could lure her in but she's very cautious about showing her vampirism to people because a lot of her allies are not vampires uh, she surrounds makes, herself by other other species what makes something tasty to a vampire maybe we should get Sebastian sandals because she knows him and be like mm. I finally I'm ready for you to eat me um, come yeah. in this box and then from what I know of Sebastian Sandals, I think he would love this plan. Yeah, I think so too. I think he probably misses this, right? Yeah, he loves He loves danger. Yeah, I remember that about him. Well, yes, so as I say, being a creature of the night, she finds being in sunlight very difficult. A running water is no good for her. Uh, silver, not a big fan. Um, stakes to the heart. Fire. These are all uh, big no-nos with yeah, regards to vampires. We don't want to die before she gets to the black hole, though. Right. Seems elaborate. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> but there's a like... Blood. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be difficult uh, to get her to uh, open a box that's got a black hole in it, considering that's exactly the thing that she tried to do to somebody else. So it's kind of <laughs> might always be in the back of her no, mind the, that every box difference. might have a black hole in it. <laughs> that's the difference. The black hole isn't going to be in the box. Anything could be oh. in the box. We want her in the box. So we take her to the black hole. Shove her ah. in the box. Oh, we, yeah, okay. So Sebastian's... In the box. In the box. In the box. And then we don't put her in a box. And oh, then we don't get Sebastian out before. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm finding it difficult to follow this. <laughs> it's really easy right now to play this game. Yeah. <laughs> so don't put Sebastian yeah, in, in a the box. box that that she won't box. get in. She won't get in after it to not. And even... then we leave. Sebastian in that box. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to not let Sebastian die though. I know. Um, can I, I mean, ask? Let him die. What well, if you were Countess Countessa? Why would you get in a box to eat? I don't something? know. <laughs> uh, I hadn't really thought it any further than just you wanted her to get into a box. And that's the first thing that came to mind. Was like, what would make a vampire get into a box? Uh, I, I know they like to feed on blood. That's yes, the only real way I could think. I get right. Wait, what? What if? What if the box was her coffin? Oh. Well, the speedy courier can't pick coffin, can he? Yeah, but can I can you can... make the speedy courier look like a coffin? Transmorgify oh. it. I couldn't transmorgify it. <laughs> that that's be... than oh, well, then that's, that's out the window, I guess. Then <laughs> never mind. Just ignore everything. Back he to says. the drawing board, Contessa. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Drat. <laughs> oh well. Um, that could be a plan. Mm-hmm. That's a fucking good plan. Bad plan. God, this sucks. It's great. <laughs> I love it. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I love everything that's happening right now. Terrible time. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So we get Sebastian Sandals in a coffee-shaped box. <laughs> Does Sebastian Sandals need to be in the coffin then? 
Super. No, I, I think my, my subsequent <laughs> idea was that if you just made it look like her coffin, she would get in there voluntarily anyway. If we did some candles in it, we just add an extra layer of an additional point of failure. <laughs> we put Sebastian in your bed for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've warmed him up. <laughs> put some Tabasco on around his neck for you. <laughs> Put on those little turkey, you know, those little that you put like little chef's hats on the legs of turkeys, but on, the, on his head. It's delicious. He's just got an apple yeah. in his mouth. Yeah, he's just been heavily basted. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to know where the onion went. Um, uh, so I think, uh, yeah, if you can make the your spell look like uh, the, the box that you want it to go in to look like the coffin that she likes to sleep in. Then, if you can swap her coffin out for that, <laughs> or if you can, you might not even need to transmute the box. If you could just get like a shell, if you could put the box inside her coffin, or make a shell around the box, this this Golda's speedy speedy courier, make it look like her own coffin, and she would get in there voluntarily, right? What if what if we make it look like a nice fleece lined blanket? That we've padded the coffin out with. My only issue with that is like, would she then wonder who has been in her coffin? Sebastian's there. <laughs> Sebastian's there. Ah, yes, of course. Just in a, just in a loose fleece. <laughs> just in a gilet in her, in her coffin. We make the box look like a gilet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's just Sebastian's handle, like. He's just oh. Winnie the Poohing himself inside the uh, in the coffin. I like the idea of her opening up the coffin and he's just there with like a rose in his teeth. <laughs> in a, in a, in a fleece <laughs> gelée. <Yeah. laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> but also, we got distracted and forgot to include the box. <laughs> so it's yeah. just him. <laughs> just dies. No. <laughs> Like, what were we doing? We got to step five of this really complicated plan. We changed our mind. We went to the moon instead. <laughs> I, I, I definitely can't just open up a box of the black hole on accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> it's quite spooky down here. Where does, do we know where she sleeps at night? During the day? Um, Did you see that day? Yeah. Have, I, I was here a hundred years ago and I was kind of really only sort of working here. I, I've mostly garnered this information from uh, what I've heard the Count and Countess talk about. Um, uh, did you, how did you get in the painting? Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I was a ghost that has been roaming uh, around the halls, the mansion. And I happened to see a uh, strapping young parter. Um, sort of here, look, examining a painting. I was like, <laughs> I, I, I really want to see more of the world. So I just kind of slipped my way in and it kind of worked. It did. Oh, you, yeah, have, it worked a treat. Have, yes. have we been keeping you entertained so far? Uh, initially, in the I think probably the first two sessions after I ended Parter, <laughs> when he remembered I was around, it was quite fun. And then since then, it's been very much... Uh, uh, a, a greyhound coach across uh, risen world. <laughs> it's almost like you've been you've been following our journey as if listening to a podcast or a YouTube show. Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, this, is, this is like a this is like a medieval version of only murders in the building. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I promise to be better for you, Tisbira. I uh, apologize. Well, no, I'm I'm just happy to have a nice warm body to sleep in. Can relate. Aren't, aren't we all? Aren't we all? <laughs> um, so what's this about your uh, great-great-grandfather, Boothwick? I don't know. I think he might have murdered some people, and that's probably what's been passed down through my life. I. Uh... Oh, that's a very strong leap of logic to get to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know where it comes from for myself, and it seems a um... bit... You know. It's probably not even worth investigating further, really, is it? I just leave. I 100% think we need to be looking, but I'm not sure the rest of the crew do. We've got time. We can have a yes. look. We've figured out what we're going to do with Countess Sessa's coffin. Yes, yeah. I agree. Where uh, 
where else is down here? How many more doors? And there's twelve rooms and one padded. So there's twelve padded cells and one like communal area at the end. That's what I was. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, you're playing your character. Yeah, yeah. You split it really well. Did you split up. Yeah. Split. Yeah. I think Stop you should him. definitely split up in this uh, bricked yeah. out in senatorium down here. Yeah. Yeah. You go well for him. Let's do it. Are we, are, yeah. we, are we splitting up then? Should we split up just for shits and giggles? Probably yeah. bagmen yeah. in like, every room too. So. Yeah, bagmen everywhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. What if we just let's ignore the padded rooms and just go down to the big, nice room that I'm guessing it's is like, like, like yeah. The the pool table and then the <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Some coloring in, that kind of thing. Before we leave this room, is there any other, cause we're still in the room with the uh, chest of drawers, right? Yes. Is there anything else in there that we noticed that is going to help us or be of interest? There's two more drawers you haven't opened. Let's do it. Let's open them. Yeah, should, we, should we see if there's any other names we recognize? Like, okay. if we're all part of the paintings. Yeah. What if it's 1974 at the Stanley Hotel? <laughs> Pip, do your magic finger. Uh, can I open them both of my hands? <laughs> uh, yes, please roll a sleight of hand. Sleight of tongue. A sleight, a sleight of tongue. <laughs> cool. Only an eight, but plus five. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, it kind of shudders a little bit and creaks. And you feel like some of the files at the back have caught on the open drawer above it and may have uh, disintegrated. In I'm really it. embarrassed and my tongue is out. <laughs> um, can, can you roll for me uh, 2d6, please? Oh. <laughs> um, four and six. What did I lick by accident? Potter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you, did you get ten in total, or did you get? Uh, I don't. I can't do maths. Six plus four. Ten. Oh yeah, yeah, ten. <laughs> uh, I just need a quick look at this. Ten, eight, eight, sixteen. Okay. I mean, um, when you pull the drawer open. And the last 10 records have been destroyed, um, which is um, which is Q through Z. That's fine. No one relevant has a last name that starts with Q. Hang on, which yeah. includes? T. R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. So we're not going to be able to see any more Therese. Right. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> What's <laughs> but you know, oh, oh no, 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 hang on, 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 hang on. Shit, I don't have it on. <laughs> I've got um, it's okay. What are you looking for? I... Spell mending? Yes. I've got mending. I've got mending. Ah. I mean, I don't, I don't think I have it. Oh no, I do have huh? it. I do have it. I do have it. I don't know if yeah. you're fucking with me or not, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing my thing? Are you doing I'm, anything? I'm doing. I'm not mending. Yeah. Me do. Me do thing. Okay. I don't trust you right now, Chad. You're all over the place. I can do thing. I'm gonna That's look to the other two. Should what? Like, am I gonna mend it, or is he gonna mend it, or we both try and mend it? I can mend. That means he can't. can't mend. That means he can't do either of those things. Oh, no, I'm mending. I can't mend. Sorry, I can't mend. Okay. <laughs> Please <laughs> don't do it. Oh, <laughs> I don't. Don't cast mend. Does that work okay. the same way? Yeah. It does. Or, or is um, it so you, you do cast break? You 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 don't not cast break. Yes. Uh, no. You don't not no, you don't not cast mend. Um, <laughs> oh. and you reconstitute some of the documents that are at the back. Uh, the T section specifically. And um, this is the patient records. And you see that there is a Boothwick tray that has been entered as a patient. Wow. They oh, dated a few God. years after he started working as oh, one of the oh, wardens. Typical job, huh? Okay. Okay. Is it, <laughs> what's the goss? What's it saying? What happened? So apparently, 
um, during his tenure here as a warden, um, he suffered some kind of psychological episode. Sounds about right. And uh, the doctor or the cleric in charge of this uh, sanatorium committed uh, Boothwick to Ray, sort of fast tracked him here, um, mostly based on like his good service. Um, and interred him as one of the patients here um, for a period of 36 months. Oh, I feel like he never escaped. Um, do, do we know what cell he was in? Yes, Ooh. cell number seven. Good question. Bad question. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Is there anything, any other information on there that, that is going to be... There is a third and final draw. This draw has a lock on it. Who can do lock picking? Why Not me. Uh, what sort of role would it be, Tim? It would be, you need thieves tools. Um, and it would be a thieves tools check, which would also be a sleight of hand check if you're proficient in it. Don't know if anyone here has got these tools, but Mike does. Mike, so if yeah. you want me to, I can roll for Mike unless someone else wants to roll. Mike, are you still in the chat? Mike, is Mike, Mike. Any, any, any here? Mike, 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 check. Mike, check. Mike, check. Mike, check. Mike, check. Mike, check. One, two, three. Um, a slight delay between us saying it and then actually it going up to. Oh, yeah, roll, roll for Mike. Mike. Here we go. Roll for Mike. Ah! <laughs> okay, gonna have to check Mike's character sheet. Which I do sheet. have. Uh, sh oh, sheet. Sheet. Oh, oh sheet. sheet. I'm assuming she has th thieves tools. I feel like she's a thieves tools person. She does seem like a thieves tools kind of girl. <laughs> nope. <laughs> she's a thieves tool. Does anyone have thieves tools? No, I don't know. Come on, someone um, has stuff. I have a glass blower's kit. I've got okay. paint. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I've got knock. Did you ever think about knock? Can anyone thieves tools? I don't think anyone here. Okay, no one's got thieves tools and no one knows how to thief. Well, hold on. The object yeah? can be a door, a box, a chest, a set of manacles. Would you like to knock? A padlock yeah. or another object that contains a mundane or magical means that prevents access. Which this does. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, a tea, well, a tea, well, a tea. well, well, well. Just don't go too hard on it because. <laughs> Are you just going to fond it? Hey. <laughs> 100%. Okay, so you cast knock, and then dunk, the filing cabinet, the bottom drawer opens up. Hey. 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 Uh, in, in Nobody inside... else is that. Oh. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Inside you find, there's not as many files in here, uh, but the files themselves are thicker okay. and they correspond to the patient records in here. So the top one was um, staff members and just their records, you know, their terms of employment, how long they've been here, like their checks, etc. Then it's patient entries, how long they've been here, their therapies, etc. And the bottom one are big patient files that have been written by the minister here. Um, minister Arthur Glow. And there are significant, like, experimental records that Minister Alton Glow has been no. um, performing on patients here. Okay. Sure. Um. There, yeah. there is a f there is a file on uh, Boothwick Teray, and mm. it's dated uh, like the first set of experiments. First, um, it's like they're they're. They're written in so much of a way as like experimental treatments. Are you your own grandfather? <laughs> hey, have you, have you Marty McFly yourself? Yeah. Is Suspiria your grandmother? <laughs> oh. She's in me. She oh. your sister? Your grandmother lover is your is your. Is your oh no, she's watched me. She's watched me with the door. <laughs> she your, your, is she your twin lover? sister? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
grandmother she, lover. She, I she, told you there was more incest in this program. Always, <laughs> always another incest twin around every corner. <laughs> she me and I've reincarnated as Parter and she's now in me. I'm in myself. No, this is how this starts, is that <laughs> I go the, along with the joke, but then you um, ride along with it and you're like, oh no, Tim said this. <laughs> this, this, this whole campaign just took a real weird turn. <laughs> <laughs> but you're um, saying that it's Chad, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Completely normal. Um, <laughs> so no, there's no twin cest in here. Um, it is literally. Um, so now you've got all of the records. You successfully um, you use mending on the patient records. Uh, you successfully opened up the client, uh, the staff records, and you've knocked open the um, the experimental, the treatment records. Uh, putting all these things together, you see that uh, Boothwick Therese's um, treatment started a year before he was registered as a patient. So mm -hmm. a year into him being a warden. Shit. Interesting. Is there anything in there indicating why? And what exactly um, the treatment was? So the, the, these records are written as if they are treatments for people's madness. But because you've got all of the records, you can line up all the dates. So it's not. It's not. This is not like some kind of confessional or like ha ha is my big evil plan. But you can notice inconsistencies now. You've got all three records that his treatment for madness started a year before he was interred as a patient. I feel like if we had bigger brains, we yeah know what that meant. <laughs> Does this you thing feel the thing? like um, our brains were bigger. <laughs> you feel like uh, Minister Arthenglow, who was um, who was the minister for this um, in sanatorium, was experimenting on your great great grandfather that potentially turned him mad. Does it say how? Yes, he they, they was doing specific uh, giving. Basically, he was dosing your great-great-grandfather, while he was a warden here, shit. with medication that eventually led to him going mad. Oh, shit. Do we recognize the experimentalist's name at all? Uh, Arthur Glow doesn't ring a bell to you. No. no. Okay. No. Um, does it, does I, it, is there any records to what happens to Arthur Glow? Yeah, can um, you just shout out Arthur Glow really loud? <laughs> You, would you like, yeah, would you like to would you like to shout out Arthur Glow really loud? Yeah. I would not. Okay. Um, in that case, Tim. you read. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as Chad shouts out Arthur Glow, <laughs> really loud. Um, nothing happens. Oh, that was a yeah. bit of a build up. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You spend ten minutes flicking through the journal, and you're getting through like his treatment records, and he's denoting that um, patient in room seven has been getting more and more violent, is and is displaying supernatural or magical innate magical abilities. It is becoming more and more difficult to control. And one of the last requisition entries he had was for someone to come and reinforce patient room seven with uh, steel lining because it, he was damaging his cell. And then there was no more entries after that. Oh, I don't know if the requisition came here. I don't know what happened to patient seven. I think can, we see, can we see the room numbers from where we are? Yes. Can we see room seven? Room seven, um, the walls, the door is long gone. Uh, the walls themselves around the door frame have been broken open in uh, an er in erratic and uh, non conform, uh, well, non um, standard pattern. So it looks like it's all been broken open from the inside. You can see it's all push pushed into the hallway and there's rubble on the floor. <clears throat> when you look from the hallway inside room seven, you can see all of the padding has been shredded uh, from the inside, uh, and the floor itself uh, has been um, almost like someone's tilled the floor. So the padding on the floor, the stone flagstones be below the padding, has all been ground up 
and it's mostly just dirt and earth on the floor now. Can, um, can we tell? Oh. oh, sorry. I was going to say, I don't know if there's a way to tell, but does it look like the dust and cobwebs are like the same age as the rest of everything else? So like, does it look like that happened when everything else stopped being used or does that look like more recent? It looks very much like this place was bricked up pretty quickly after whatever happened here happened. Got it. Can, can, despite my current situation, can I go look around cell seven for yeah. notes yeah. or like writings on the wall or like scribbles on whatever paper they might have had or gum under the table? Absolutely. Chad steps into room seven. What's everyone else doing? I'm going to go with him because I want to see the cell that my great granddad, granddad, me, great great grandfather, Booth Wicker. Potentially you. Great, great. Yeah. Um, I can stand at the door and make sure no one sneaks up behind us. Mm -hmm. I just peer into each one just to see if there's any like bones or bodies or anything. Yeah. Um, so we'll go in reverse order. So, Aya, when you go to um, about nine out of the 12 rooms, the doors are open. Uh, three or four of them have been like, damaged and beaten in. Um, the, other, the rest of them look like they've been opened outwards. So they've been um, opened from the inside out. So presumably they come that way. No, sorry, they go inwards, actually. Apologies. They go from the, from the hallway inwards. Um, and some of them have been destroyed in, some of them look like it's been opened. Um, there are three rooms that are still closed. Um, when you peer inside some of them, um, you can see a few skeletons inside here, like of uh, previous occupants that have died in the cell. Cool bone daddy. Don't know. Bring him a memento of our wind. Do the, do the skeletons look like Josh's great grandfather at all? Um, difficult to tell. Oh, well, he's a half giant, so actually you would know that you're looking for like a skeleton that's probably larger than the rest. Um, yes. With like a piece of pie in his mouth. A piece of pie. A piece of, piece of pie. lemon. Lemon pie. <laughs> Sorry, lemon tart. Tart? Lemon tart. Oh, yeah. tart. Uh, no, uh, they all look to be relatively human sized, ranging from six feet down to maybe about four feet. So dwarfs, halflings, Elf, human, that kind of range. Okay, so no big tall skeleton men. No big tall skeleton men. You don't think if Boothwick Terray was similar size to Parter, um, none of these skeletons look big enough. And is there any um, skeletons wearing scrubs? Uh, yes, you do find a couple of skeletons in the hallway that are wearing, um, like the leather aprons still kind of survived better than the clothes themselves. So Can you I... assume that a couple of them are wardens. Can I check if, like, are any of them, like, what was the man, the Athen Globe man? He wasn't a warden, he was a scientist. He was the, he was the, he ran the insanatorium. Is there anyone dressed like they might run in a sanatorium? Yeah, do they have name tags? <laughs> they, if they did, it might, they might have perished over the years. Like, yeah. uh, the leather is kind of the only thing that's really survived particularly well. It's already been cured. Is it, is it just bones or is there, like, sacks of flesh hanging around there's no sacks of flesh hanging around just bones. but we can't tell if there's any like fucking <laughs> oh neck suckers yeah yeah uh no not not in the hallway and not in the cells no it's um it looks like it's been at least at least a century if not more so the bones themselves are pretty um fleshless at this point so the bones are probably either patients inside or wardens outside there's no yeah, it seems seems yeah, to be yeah, a yeah, mixture. Yeah, experimenting, right? The way that. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, so yeah, I just was wondering if we could try and find him, but maybe he got away. Because hmm. if he's alive, or like not, I don't know. His he's, we could get revenge for your granddad. What if he's he's not the gray man? What if my granddad is the gray man? That would be a good twist. He experimented on all the other people. 
Maybe he's the man. He made an army of zombies <laughs> up in the north. Possibly. Maybe that's why you got that. Would you kill your own granddad? Fuck yeah, of course would. <laughs> Great. Just, just make a joy to it. So you are your own granddad, and you have your own grandmother inside you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's from my family. Role. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, but if you are your granddad and you have a grandmother lover, then technically it's not incest. It's fine. Because they it's were just a normal anyway. relationship, right? It's just marriage. Yeah. It's just marriage. It's normal. Welcome it's to marriage. How, how life goes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you marriage just have your you have your wife in you. <laughs> yeah. Well, people yeah. have their wife in them. Like yeah. Just yeah, you chop your hand off and then you have a wife in you. Just normalize yeah. whatever that Symbolic. is. Symbolic. Like That's what happens at uh, wedding ceremonies. Yeah. <laughs> you chop your arm off and she, and she climbs inside you. Where's your lack of skin? Wow. Look yep. at this boy. Okay. <laughs> so, keeping it on track. Skeletons, <laughs> normal people. Yeah, yeah there's more. There's, there's some pat patient mm. skeletons. There's some more oh. skeletons, but there's no scientist, evil, okay. experimenter skeleton. Mm. True. Okay. So, Parter and Chad, you walk inside treatment room number seven. Um, oh, yeah. Can both of you please do a intelligence saving throw? Intelligence saving throw. Do I have disadvantage on saving throws or just... Just a bonus uh, check. So saving throws are fine for you. Roll them. You can roll them normally. Roll an eight. Minus one. An eight. Oh. Seven. Seven. Okay. Eighteen. Because I got a big old brain. Big old lizard brain. Um, so Chad, you're you're not affected by what happens now. Unfortunately, um, you have uh, for well, I won't tell you for how long, but you have the stunned condition now. Um, <laughs> no, not you. But uh, oh, sorry, you can't tell where I'm looking on the screen. Parter, you have the stunned condition. Um, as uh, the walls and everything around you fade away into black. And um, it's you're, it's like you're standing in a completely dark black room. You can't see anything. You can see each other next to you um, for a few seconds, and then um, like someone's turned a switch on, but it, it is a either a gas light or potentially even a magical light. A switch turns on. You look around you, and you're inside the cell as it probably once was over a hundred years ago. None of the walls have been destroyed. The floor is fine. Wow. Um, there is a cot in the corner. Uh, there is a table with two chairs that have been set out in the center. The light's above you. And both of you are in the cell and door behind you is closed. Um, you look around for a moment. You are both in there by yourselves. Um, and then there is, you hear the grating of metal as a, the window plate gets pushed aside <laughs> and you see a pair of eyes um, in the metal uh, slot looking in at the both of you for a second and then shunk, you hear the rattle of keys on a key ring as the door opens and you see two wardens wearing the same uh, leather aprons that party you saw in your vision but also as you saw in the painting four years ago in our time, but in real time a month ago. Yeah. Um, uh, they walk in. Uh, they are armed uh, with like batons at their side. And there is what looks to be like um, a cleric or a priest, like to one of the 25 gods in there, wearing a vestment and a symbol of their god on there. Um, presumably this is Arthur, uh, Minister Arthenglow. Um, and the three of them walk into the cell. Uh, one of the wardens closes the door and uses the key to lock it and puts the key ring back on their belt. Um, the minister looks towards the two of you and says, uh, 
So, Boothwick, how are you feeling today? Uh, confused? <laughs> mm. uh, scared? I don't Look really know what's going on. No, well, hopefully the new medication will be kicking in soon. Have you been having any violent thoughts, Boothwick? Always. Usually. See. I don't tell people about them, no. Oh, you know, this is a safe place for you here. You can't hurt anybody in this room. But what if I do? What don't if I want worry, to? Boothwick. I'm medicating your outbursts, and there won't be anything like what happened before. Uh, I feel partly responsible. Our background checks should have alluded to the fact that you may not have been appropriate to be a warden here. Uh, this job could be very stressful on the minds that are more susceptible to uh, the horrors of madness <laughs> down here. I'm, I'm not so mad. Why I've given you... No, of course not, I... Uh, Shouldn't use that word, really. My apologies, Boothwick. You're not mad. You're just um, unwell. And I'm here to help you get better. What What are we doing it for? What, what, what happened before? What are you drinking? <laughs> Good point about that. <laughs> Boothwick, my lad, you you don't remember what you did. I I keep forgetting what's what's happened the day before, and I just I want to know what I did, and what I'm doing here. Um, the minister who sat down at the table, there's still a single chair opposite uh, the table in front of you. Um, he gestures to one of the wardens who has got a sort of a, a leather medical bag. Um, opens it up for the minister. He reaches inside and pulls out the file, the same file that you saw um, in the cabinet that you liberated. Um, and he opens up the Constantina file, uh, rummages through, and then pulls out a drawing, and then places it on uh, the table and slides it over to you, and it's upside down. <laughs> Take Ooh. it. Yep. I take it. And go back. Little flick through. What do I see? It's just a single sheet of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I flick through. <laughs> it's just one page. It's blank because it's upside down. <laughs> uh, you turn it over, and yeah. uh, on the opposite side is a is a gruesome image of a. Uh, you think it might be a woman, but with a mutilated face. <gasps> What's her hands look like? Um, they haven't drawn her hands. It's mostly just like a, it kind of fades off around like the shoulder area. Ghostly. This was me. <laughs> no. Coincidence. I did this. Uh, the minister nods. Yes, yes. Uh, in one of your episodes, Booth. Who was she? Uh, she worked here. As uh, in administration, she killed an admin assistant. Oh god! <laughs> oh, god. Is she in you now? <laughs> what? What's her name? I, I don't remember doing it. Um, he reaches over and, and takes the, the image back, puts it back into the file. It's, uh, if you can't remember, it's not worth being on now. But um, tease. How does that make you feel? Angry. Even more confused. Mm -hmm. And what does that make you want to do, Boothwick? I, I want to get out of this cell. I want to. So how would you? How would you do that, Boothwick? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, out the door. It's the only way out, really. I'll throw you through that door if you keep pushing me. <laughs> there you go. There he is. <laughs> he, he nods. Um, what else was in the room? 
A cot, two chairs, and a table. And a bucket. And a bucket? Oh, oh has it got piss in it? It's the start of a <laughs> franchise. Um, <laughs> this is our <laughs> way in time to start the first <laughs> Uh, I'm going to grab the bucket, chuck it on his head. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, throw the table at the door. Okay. Charge at it. Uh, can you roll a wisdom saving throw? No, sorry. Can you roll a charisma saving throw, please? You get plus five from me as well. Oh, sweet. Plus mine. Not at this point, no. Oh. He might, his physical being would be, but this. It's this is now happening in a different Yeah, he's witnessing Fair enough. A twenty? Natural twenty. You feel the rage build up inside you and you imagine yourself like taking the bucket, smacking the minister around the head with it, um, making all your effluent go all over the walls. Um, <laughs> stabbing one of the wardens with their keys and then making a run for uh, the doorway which you would use the chair to bash through and make your escape and then you kind of shake your head and it's just all been in your mind you're still sat in the chair opposite the minister and you haven't oh, enacted oh. any of these things oh that's gross I don't like that oh I kind of feel like I should have gone on a little bit more rage but do it again um, <laughs> I'll walk out the room and walk back in <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Let's do it again. Let's go again. Um. Oh shit. Um. Uh. I don't really know what happened, guys. But I I wasn't here. But I was here. I. I Wait, think... you talking to us? I. How are you? Why are you? How are you talking to us? I. I guess wasn't... he's talking to like the minister and the wardens, maybe. Oh, talking out loud. Yes. Uh, the minister nods. <laughs> Josh, Josh. <laughs> I'm so confused. You're still in the room. Um, oh no, the, everything that happened in your mind was. Yeah, you um, didn't turn that on and off. Yeah. Like you thought about break. You thought about breaking out as Boothwick, but actually, you you didn't enact on any of your impulses. Oh. You're back in the room. You're still all... Boothwick. I like the thought that when Ch uh, Josh was silent just then, it was because in his brain he was breaking out of this dream. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, you can't be trapped in a dream here. I'm not liking this. Yeah. Dream. It's a dream in a dream. So you, <laughs> had, you, dream. Had, you had a fantasy inside the dream. None Ooh. of this is actually happening as well. No, so we are so all strange. trapped in our own <laughs> We're just in this screen. None of it's real. No. Yeah, you're, you're, in, you're, you're in an RPG, yeah, you're having a dream, Josh, and you're having yeah. a fantasy inside that dream. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I think we're going to have to up your medication. I don't want your medication. <laughs> you know it's helping you even out, right? No, it's not. It's not. Uh, he he nods to the two wardens who step towards you and grab your you grab you by the shoulders. Uh, this entire balls. time by the way, Chad, you're able to see everything. Um if you <laughs> is try he, is he talking or is he just sort of just like oh, oh. you're there <laughs> you're there in the dream oh, oh. But, but like yeah, he's, you're like he's, a, you're he's... like a fly on the wall you can see everything that's happening oh, you can't shit. you can't affect anything that's happening going on you don't can have they, a corporeal yeah. presence they can't can see I... chad and so chad... I, got, I got dragged into this dream too yes but i'm a lizard on the wall <laughs> you're the lizard you're a lizard on the wall you're a little gecko <laughs> on the wall yeah. no um, Party can't. Party can't you see the people here. Um, you didn't get. You didn't get pulled into here. this as a member of the what the role play that's happening. Um, you're not absorbed as like one of the players in this game, uh, but you're able to absorb observe everything objectively as yourself, as a fly on the wall, and you can see everything happening. Can I? You can I cast? Although Chad, you can't. You're a little bit trapped as well because you can't affect anything. So when you try and touch anyone well, or touch the move? furniture, no, um, you can touch the cot because the cot is the only thing here that was in both locations, both in the dream and in the real world. Can he Wait, touch so himself? He can also touch himself as much as to he wants. <laughs> to be clear, can I touch myself? Just an option. Yeah, that is an option. Things so, just get boring. Can, can I move? <laughs> you can move. You can oh, move around. 
You can't you, seem you can't go through the closed door. Off. Yeah. You can't go through the closed door. You can't okay. use the so lock. I'm... And you can't grab the keys to the lock. I should have been paying so much more attention. You are you are a voyeur in this uh Ooh. dream that <laughs> <laughs> why why does Potter keep winking at me? <laughs> <laughs> Why has he handed me this mask? <laughs> Help! <laughs> anyway, Parter. Anyway. Um, the two wardens stand up. Well, they were already standing. They were flanking the minister, and they move menacingly towards you. And both of them, either side of you, grab uh, your forearm and your upper arm and pull you backwards over towards the cot to pin you down on the cot, whilst the minister opens up his bag and reaches inside and gets out what looks to be like a little uh, roll, like a sort of a, a leather uh, roll, which he sp splays out, it has multiple different vials in it. Um, he goes along reading the labels and plucks one out um, and moves over to you. Uh, you can interrupt me at any point if you want to do something, by the way. Well, I was going to say, am I, am I able to cast spells in this? Uh, no. Oh, I'm literally just... Well, I say no, um, not in the way that you're used to. But I mean, yes. Is there something <laughs> that you it. want, that you in this environment want to do? Don't worry about spells. What What do you want? imagine you want to happen right now? Stop looking at me. <laughs> Is that what you want? Uh... Do you want them to stop looking at you? No, no I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is the this oh, is his mental breakdown. Yeah. So he wants me to keep, <laughs> keep looking at him. Um, <laughs> keep watching me. No, I want to get out of the room. I want to get out of the room. Okay. Um, can you can you roll for me? Roll a d20 and add it to your spell attack modifier on your current sheet as parter. Okay. Your spell attack modifier is plus, plus five. Ten. Plus five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, plus five. Eight. Plus five. Thirteen. Uh, Thirteen. Um, you think about getting out of the room, and the door, as you look, at, you look over, past the two wardens that are pinning you down, past the minister that is now approaching you from the table, um, you can see the door in the background. You concentrate on it. It starts to rattle. Chad, you can see this. It starts to rattle and vibrates more and more, the noise increases, and then poof, it just explodes outwards, creating a big fissure in the wall. Jettisons out and hits the wall backwards. The two wardens momentarily jump and look around at what just happened, as does the minister. What do you um, do? My hand gesture. I'm okay. going to pop their little heads. I'm going to roll a saving throw for both of them. Against your uh, saving throw of 18. Well, one rolled a 12 and one rolled a natural one. So you do this, and both the heads go <laughs> and just spray brain matter, bone, and blood across everything. Shrapnel from their skulls <laughs> shred the inside of the cell. Uh, of all of that. What would you like to do? The minister starts backing away. Slowly stand back. His head just exploded. So the two wardens that were pinning him down. Minister, yeah. Slowly stand up. I want to. There's now no him. Parter. Think oh, about no, what you're doing. But he just called you Parter. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. That was me, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at his character sheet. Now, now, Boothwick, calm down. You remember what happened last time? Just gonna remember the woman. Gesture lifting him in the air. I want to. Yeah. Bone by bone, time for me. Fingertips along, okay. break his bones, <laughs> against his shoulders, yeah. rip them off. Uh, yep, much like a reverse, um, like a what, what was the bubble gum that was in like a little snail tube? Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, Hubba Bubba. Yeah. Hubba Bubba, Bubba. that's it. Was it Hubba Bubba that was in like a little Bubba. curled up? Yeah, so like that. A little pop. conch, bubblicious, yeah. Um, yeah, that happens, but in the reverse. So, like, his hand, his fingers start to bend backwards in a tight little coil, and then how is that in the then... reverse? That's still a coil. Yeah, well, normally you'd pull it out like a tape measure, 
but he wants to make the tape measure go the opposite way. <laughs> yeah. You want to reverse, you want to reverse this but this. Way. He went yeah. this way. <laughs> this way, the normal way people make fists. <laughs> so our minister's ready for fries. <laughs> I love how you, you I love how you use the tape measure metaphor to explain the hubba bubba metaphor. I know. <laughs> <you're using. laughs> it's multiple layers of reference of analogies. <laughs> and, and then there was a bulb in a bush. Um, <clears throat> your yeah, his hands and he starts screaming as his arms get turned into uh, tape measures uh, and then his uh, <laughs> shoulders pop off Great. and just bleeding heavily as he's screaming um, and just in, in full rage I just want to be screaming at him why are you doing this? Why me? Why are you doing it? Why me? Why um, it's just blood it's just, he's, try, he's trying to scream but it's just blood coming out of his mouth now pop his arms back on <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it, does, it has little to no uh, effect with regards to off. him being able to. Okay. Pull yeah. out his tape measure hands. Yeah. <laughs> you measure how long he's. <laughs> Slap him around the face. Around the face. <laughs> um, um, he's yeah. begging you for mercy through the blood that's pouring from his mouth. Real, though. I mean, this is a little uh, fantasy that you have in. Question yeah. from yeah yeah from the fly on the wall. What does Potter look like right now? Potter looks is a fur bulk, but not Potter. It's not Potter. Um, similar facial features. Looks okay. older. Has grayer okay. hair. Okay. Uh, a bit, so bit thinner and more gaunt. Um, yeah, there's definitely a. You're yeah, not. There's a f- Potter. Yeah. There's a familial relationship. So yeah, you assume this is. Both quick. Yeah. When um when Parta escaped the first time, and is and then it was it wasn't real. Mm-hmm. What did Chad see? Uh, Boothwick just sitting there staring, like just blankly dead eyed at the minister. What do, oh, hold, uh, that's a good question. What do I see now? Yeah. You see what's happening as Parta's okay. describing it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, so it's not just him having a, another hallucination. Okay, yeah. I, th- I think Boothwick's the right man. Honestly, if he I is, think, fair enough. I think this could be foreshadowing of it. <laughs> Leap to budget, cool. Or he's a moon. <laughs> <laughs> he is the moon you need to get to. to. He's the moon man or the gray man. Or he's Sebastian Sandals. <laughs> Or he's Sebastian. <laughs> one of those three people. <laughs> um, um, eventually, he shudders and is unable to talk anymore. His mouth is so full of blood. Uh, he's just able to gurgle and plead with you with desperate eyes. Mm. <laughs> I could drop him on the floor and run out. It's just a wet splat on the floor. Well, if he's not able um, to talk. It's, when it's you a, s- a bad thing you're playing this character right now. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> thing. It to a fucking T unintentional. Maybe it's unintentional. I don't know. What do I know? Um, I'm just, you I'm just walk out. Wall. Yeah. <laughs> you just you go on the wall. Um, you can now, Chad, now the door's open, you can scuttle outside. If you, want to. You, you follow Boothwick as he walks outside. Uh, both of you, you can hear like um, crying uh, or screams or chants or beating coming from the other cells around you. Can't do anything about it, right? As you as you look around, um, you got overwhelmed by all of the noise. Uh, now that you've blown the door open, you f- you feel um, a thud on the back of your skull, Thunk! and uh, your eyes go white hot. As you feel pain shooting through your skull, turn around and there's another warden behind you with one of those truncheons that struck you in the back of the skull. Not me. Not you, not Chad. <sighs> another warden um, Boothwick, aka Parter. What? Am I still on my feet? Yes. Yeah, you just took tunk to the back of the head, <laughs> but you're still standing. Um, I'm going to turn around. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna mm-hmm. like gesture gesture to him to push him away from me a little bit. 
mm-hmm. into the middle of the I'm in the walkway bit with all yes, the cells. Right? In the corridor. And I'm just gonna flick and crack open some of the doors so that some of the patients inside. Right. So as you do that, some of the doors just get snapped open, some of them coming off the hinges. So then they're opening up so sharply that they embed themselves in the wall on their hinges. Um, a, a, a silent, awkward moment passes. And then the other inmates that are there realise that they are able to escape. They run out, some of them rushing past you, Boothwick, others turning on the guard. As they jump on them, he tries to fend them off with his baton, but there's three, four of them on him. Eventually they take him down to the ground and just with their bare hands, to start mauling the warden on the ground. Perfect. You managed, to, any... like, you managed to, like, concuss one of them, and probably kill one of them, before the other two or three um, overwhelm him. Are there any other wardens? You look around, and there's a very frightened-looking desk clerk to one side that has just been stunned into silence sitting at the desk. They're, they look like they're halfway through writing a report. Don't kill any more admin assistants. <laughs> they're not paid well enough for that. No. Like, they, yeah, look you, mate. they look at the door. They look at you. They look at the door. And before they, before you can decide to do anything, one of the patients runs up, grabs the quill, and just shoves it into their eye. Ooh. They scream <laughs> as you see a couple more run up the stairs and out into the whatever is above and you hear you start hearing screams from the house above you Can, as, oh, as as a witness can i recognize anybody uh boothwick oh hmm where are you right now chad i'm on the wall uh, inside the room outside the room next to the door uh, outside the room as soon as as soon as boothwick left yeah i'm following the action okay so Boothwick, you're at the front now because you've opened up all the doors. Yeah, uh, you've seen the admin assistant that's been qu- uh, quilled to the eye. Um, a, a couple of other inmates have run up and out, and are causing havoc upstairs or just startling people. You hear screams from up there. Yeah, uh, Chad, that's what you see. There's a little gecko on the wall. Uh, we'll come back to Boothwick and I'll come back to you, Chad. Boothwick, what are you doing now? Um. Is it, well, I, I think, oh, fuck. I want to go upstairs because I want to see if there's anybody else around. But there's a, like you said, there's like a communal space as well, right? Behind you. Um, I want to go in there. I'm hunting, hunting for people, people to blame. You go back um, into the communal area. It is somewhere where they have a recreation area and where they eat their meal. So there's a lot, long bench here. There are some individual chairs, and there are places to do um, quiet like reading or drawing in here. Um, it's underground, but they have what looks to be um, a tree trunk that's growing in the middle of the communal area that goes up through the basement, and presumably up through the roof of the basement and to blossom outside. You don't get the benefit of any of the leaves, branches, or foliage. Uh, but what you do see is there's the root system at the bottom and just the tree trunk in the middle that goes up into the roof. There is uh, one additional warden in here cowering to one side. Um, I'm going to interrogate him. I wanna, I'm going to find out what they're doing, why they're doing it, what it means. Can you roll a charisma saving throw for me, please? Okay. Okay. 14 plus, uh, where is he, where is he? Two, 16. 16. Um, you walk over to them with the intention of uh, asking them what to do. Your, everything goes black for a second. Like you just had a really long blink. Like you just close your eyes and you open them again. And they're nailed to the trunk of the tree. <laughs> Whoops. What? Oh, shit. Whoopsies. Oh, shit. The last thing you see, Chad, um, Boothwick's gone opposite direction and into the communal area. 
the you're still outside patient room seven. Um, you hear there's m- there's many horrible sounds happening right now. Screams of this person being nailed to a tree in the in the communal area, further down the corridor. Still a couple of people, a couple of inmates in the room that have the the doors haven't been opened, who are still crying, yelling, beating on the door. Screams of people upstairs who are either shocked or being attacked. Um, but the most local sound to you is the sickening crunch coming from inside Boothwick's old cell as the minister steps back out and his arms kind of locking into place. Why? There's a slight smirk on his face and as he walks away and up the stairs you notice there's a flare of purple in his eyes. Purple's the one color we didn't do. And then, <laughs> Chad and Parter, uh, you're in the room again. The, the same room that you stepped in about 30 minutes ago in our episode. Um, you've just stepped into it and it is obliterated. There is old dry blood on the wall. The place has been shredded. Uh, the door's been blown out. What, what, what was his name again? Uh, Arthur Bloom. Or the, no. Arthur Bloom. Arthur Bloom. What? He, scientist with Arthur Bloom. Yeah. The minister's he's called Arthur Bloom. Uh, Boothwick was Chad's great great grandfather. Yeah. Hey, have you written down his name? Okay. As... I, I've already written it wrong because I said Arthur Bloom and whatever. Yeah. But... Oh, uh, it's yeah, B L O O M Bloom. Okay. Like a flower bloom. bloom. And Arthur. So like... Arthur Bloom's a mad scientist. And Pa's mad granddad is Boothwick. Yeah. Yeah, and, sure. yeah. And one of them is definitely going to be helpful, and one of them is not. Well, this this guy that's just popped his shoulders back in after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not helpful. Not okay. helpful. Yeah. <laughs> not helpful at all. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want to be a good guy? Do you want to marry him, Pip? Probably. Maybe. <laughs> um, oh, does the pur- is the purple eyes meant to like remind us of someone? <laughs> yes. Because who do we know who has purple eyes? You've seen purple eyes be before. Purple. The, the gray man? man, right? The gray man. The gray man. Yeah. Purple beard. Purple beard. It is. Yeah. So he, the he mad had, he had man tiny man. little pinpricks of purple in his empty eye sockets when he last saw. How the fuck did you guys remember that? I didn't. <laughs> None of us did. <laughs> I just guessed it. The way that he was saying he smirked and then walked out with purple glimmer in his eyes. That, that in my head it was like oh. how he how he looked at us for Chad's hey, when he was just. You definitely outside. have to go kill the grey man now because now yeah. there's like this personal generational connection. I got I got to do it from my great great granddad. <laughs> so it was like, okay, you won't fight him. Fine, he's your granddad's arch <laughs> nemesis. <What about now? laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. However, Pate, have you ever thought about where your power came from? Uh oh. Uh, often I've wondered more not the druids fully, but the rage that comes with it at times. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, something's worried me. I've I've tried to shy away from it and tend to my garden and hope that it doesn't rear its ugly head. But this lot that have taken me on an adventure seem to bring it out every now and then. <laughs> Blame us for it. Well, it's, I think it's a power. I'm starting to realise it's a bit of a power and not a. Not a curse. What I'm thinking, though, Tim, whilst we're in there, can we uh, can we see if there's any more of those um, any more of those bottles of stuff left behind? Oh, okay, interesting. Roll an investigation check whilst we're in room seven. Oh fuck! Right, that's not gonna work. Four plus one, minus one. Shit. Three. Uh, yeah, you look around. You're still quite perturbed by the things you've seen. Uh, may, maybe Chad uh, will have a better go of it if you let him know what you're looking for. I will, unless you want to keep it to yourself. I think but Chad he would is, have seen that. I think Chad is physically investigating right now. Mm-hmm. He is. He's literally going around the room. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the role play very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to crawl along the wall here. In a He's got, he's got a full-on gecko costume. That he's 
Um, okay. Or I can just use luck. Can I use luck? I'm going to use luck. You can, you can use, use luck. You can return yeah. to the seat and save your luck. Nah, fuck it. I've got three. <laughs> right. Oh, no, that's a good 17 minus one, 16. 16. Um, you do find um, in in amongst like a lot of the rot and padding because it's made up of relatively organic material, <clears throat> so it has kind of moulded over the years. You do see all the telltale signs of a strap mm. um, that was part of this leather roll um, that contained all of these uh, vials. Can you roll for me, please, a d6, and this will let you know how many vials survived. All of the vials survived. Nice. Oh, yeah, I pick them up. I'm gonna pick them up. You, you Wait, was extricate. This, was, this the, was this the stuff that he was giving you, Glenda, or is this? It was. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Which it's a bit scary. If it makes him powerful like that, yeah, it could come in handy. Or it could make you insane. <laughs> or a bit of both. You know, if it's column the end a, game. Column B. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a little comedy. Feels like Is we're it? playing with, you know, house yeah. dice here a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> what could yeah. go wrong, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the vials. I'm gonna take all okay. six. All right. Put them in the satchel. Put them in my bag. Pop it into your pocket. Right. I think we're done here. Uh, let's go find a black hole. Did I see any of this, or was I just standing at the door like, mm, they've probably got it? <laughs> um, this all happened very quickly. Like, mm. in the way that dreams seem to last for days when you're asleep, mm. but actually you're only in, like, REM for, like, 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So all of this happened, like, pretty much as soon as they stepped into the room, they probably stood there for a few seconds, <laughs> and, and a full, like, interrogation. That the whole thing really lasted for about 30 minutes in their mind, but they are only in there for, like, two minutes. Whilst okay. you Aya, are like looking around the corridor and looking in the cells um, and seeing like the dead bodies around you, like, oh, what else is going on here? So um, it's only been a couple of minutes for you. It's been like 30 minutes for Parter and Chad in their mind. Because they've got no idea what these vials are that I've just picked up, except for Chad. Yeah. Chad saw Chad them. Yeah. Um, can I, can I, because I'm pretty handy with the old medicine check stuff, would that allow me to be able to identify exactly what is in them? You give it a go for sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. So nine plus ten, nineteen. Chief, you got plus ten in your medicine. Yes. Oh my god. Um, nineteen uh, is a little bit of a combination of what you've seen combined with uh, you examining, uh, like smelling, tasting a little bit of what the what's in the vial. Um, and from your whole druidic herbalism background, um, you think that this minister was toying with unlocking people's psychic ability? Seemed to work. Shit. Okay, cool. So it could be Did one for all of us. <laughs> so taking this could unlock a latent psychic ability. You don't know if taking one now would have any effect... Mm -hmm. But because uh, Boothwick, uh, Boothwick's been, Boothwick's been, uh, uh, has been, um, like administered this for a year at that point. It's okay. uh, an ongoing treatment, basically, and you don't know how much of that has been passed down genetically to you now. Nice. Okay. From from this concoction, was there anything left in terms of like? Vials, yeah, you found six vials of this. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah, I, mi I missed that part of it, but was there oh. any sort of like so that obviously that's the end result? Was there recipes? I guess no, no, no. it seems to. Right. Um, the minister probably because uh, you get the impression that the filing cabinet everything was documented in such a way that it just seemed like it was just purely a treatment facility. The only way you um, knew that Boothwick was being experimented on because is because the dates didn't line up properly. That was okay. just an admin oversight. Okay. Um, other than that, they weren't saying, oh, we're strapping these people down and administering this, uh, trying to unlock people's latent psychic ability. Um, nice. If there is any of that kind of record, um, it would have been probably kept on the minister, either in a personal room that isn't down here, 
or on his person or on a different site outside. And there's no way for us to determine where that site would be. Uh, at the moment, um, nothing nothing seems to uh, jump out at you, but having Chad, having seen those purple eyes only once before in the Grey Man. Which I've just remembered. Which I've just remembered. <laughs> you presume that they're either related or they are the same person. I, I feel like, in hindsight, I feel like we did, and I don't, I'm actually making this up now, but I'm pretty sure we did have some kind, we did already know somehow that the grey man was connected to the vampire house, but I don't think we knew why. To what extent? Yeah, and I thought we just yeah. assumed it was something to do with the vegan vampire people rather than a secret experiments that were going on in the basement before that. That has relations to part of the answer. I mean, why would we assume that? <laughs> The weird. <laughs> that would be a bit of a leap. Yeah. We are known for our leaps, but <laughs> it's true. Sometimes they're real. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I, I'm... I mean, do you want to talk about anything, Pa? Are you feeling okay? You've it's kind of a lot to process right now. I'm not sure how I feel. Uh, I think, I mean, uh, what I did help? some things. I did some things in my head just then that scare me. Do you, does it make you want to try them now in real no, life? No, not right now. Okay. Not right now. But it makes me... I, I, I feel conflicted. I feel like I understand myself a bit better and I feel like we need to find this man and fight for my family to get vengeance. Do you, do you know... Has anyone in your family ever told you what happened to your grand great granddad? No. After, <laughs> after no. like, <laughs> no. did he live a long age and then die peacefully in his sleep? Uh, <laughs> I think he, uh, yeah, he was just a flower maker and uh, <laughs> no. Uh, Otherwise, known as a gardener. My, my, fa my <laughs> That's family maker, you know. Yeah. My family never really spoke about stuff like that. They just uh, tried to live a quiet life. And, and I went through some troubles where I kind of lost my shit. And I left the family behind because I wasn't seen safe. I wasn't deemed safe at the time. Interesting. Yeah. I think you know as well, Parter, that... Um, your grandfather so this Boothwick is your great great grandfather your grandfather was also prone to outbursts what was your grandfather's name? Boothwick 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 the great no <laughs> well I mean I have a name for your grandfather but if you would like to your grandfather to go boobwick or boothwick. Well, let's, let's create a little poll, see what chat says. What's his real name? And then we can decide. Um, the yeah. chat already said poop pubwick. Pubwick. Okay, so spoopy milk that, penguin says is is it pubwick. I'm done I with pubwick. I had written down doothan, but uh, doothwick. Doothan. Do you and his wife pubic pubic? No way I'm not saying pubic. <laughs> pubert. <laughs> Would you like your grandfather to be called Pubert? <laughs> well done, Chet. Yes. I'm sorry, okay. Tim, but yes, I would. Pubert. So, great great grandfather Boothwick, and then your grandfather's name was Pubert. <laughs> <laughs> One day he was angry. Yeah. One day he was angry. <laughs> it was Pubert. <laughs> It's like Rupert, but Cuban. Great. Who came up with that? I'm <laughs> really good. Yes, Spoopy. Yes. Well done, Spoopy. Um, <laughs> so your grandfather, Pubert, um, was prone to violence. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Bullied as a child um, much? Uh, so, well, it, seemed to skip a, it seems to skip a generation. Oh, and shit. it seems okay. to be on the, on the paternal side of things. So your yeah, great-grandfather... Your grand, your great grandfather, 
doesn't seem to be anything like that. Your father seems to be fine, and uh, but you may have inherited that lineage. That's just mad, Jean. This is yeah. adding up now. This is adding up. Okay. Um, I wish he wasn't called Pubert. <laughs> it's fucking. It's canon now. Which is fucking great. I'm so. Pu- Pubert the angry. <laughs> angry. Pubert and born with a pencil moustache, says Spooky. <laughs> so Pubert's got a pencil moustache. <laughs> well, canon. Absolute canon. Yeah. Absolute um, canon. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I, I wasn't coming into this episode expecting to find this out about my heritage, so. Cool. Indeed. Good for you. It's a lot. Chat, aren't you a lot glad to happen. that you voted for us to go to the black hole? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To the black hole. Okay. None of the things that they voted for, and you're coming here. <laughs> Irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, completely. <laughs> Waste of their time. Yeah. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, I think, well, we're coming up on time now. So, unless there's anything else you'd like to do in the vampire mansion, the abandoned vampire mansion, um, we could well, always yeah. start off the next make session. Make a poll. Okay. Would you like me to make a poll? We have to. <laughs> so, we could do a three minute poll. Yeah, three minute poll. You got three minutes and 22 seconds. What are the options, though? Uh, <laughs> the poll is them deciding what the options are for the poll. <laughs> yeah, what poll would you like? Or not. <laughs> uh, so black hole? This is the same poll again. Yeah. Yeah, black hole, kissing, volcano, moon. Kissing. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Uh, uh, would you, would you like another one? What? Uh, grab. Well, what about like puber law discovery? That's option 11. <laughs> oh, right. I've got five, there's five options. So, so far, we've got black hole kissing, volcano, moon, and grab a mother lover. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what some of those things are. <laughs> do, we, do we have control over the ads that are showing on? on like, Not because... the ads. If you're subscribed, you don't see ads. I just wonder if you're like. Time. Can we, can we... <laughs> this is important. <laughs> Alice, are you not subscribed? <laughs> there's an ad. There's an ad. Oh, it's disappeared now. It was a, like three hundred and thirty-seven pound banana. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to say sure it did, and then you finished the sentence, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's on brand. It's either that or going to be an egg. <laughs> or, I like it's some kind, of, or some kind of male grooming device considering how many times we've said pubert in the last five minutes <laughs> um, that's like the time when I opened up my fortune cookie and it just said egg <laughs> <laughs> like, do they drop like the ingredients into the, like, the, the recipe into it I'm pretty sure I sent a picture to Alice because I was like the fortune cookies no just says egg, <laughs> egg. G- genuinely, I know we're running out of time. Ellie, have mm-hmm. you seen on the ride from Brighton to uh, London Bridge, there's a bit of graffiti on the way that just says egg? I've said that <laughs> picture to Alice, I think, many times before. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a bridge that's full of graffiti and it just says egg. egg. <laughs> <laughs> that's the graffiti. Wait, Ellie, do you know what happened last week? I know, I wasn't here. <laughs> I wasn't here. Yes, you were. Yeah, you were. Well, oh, not last week, but week before. But last, last session. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Egg. Well, an egg. Egg. Yeah, an egg. egg. Secret. See, Craig? An extraterrestrial found... egg. Where is it? Yeah. Chad has it. Chad's got his bag. No. We <laughs> discovered puber, and you didn't <laughs> mention you have an extraterrestrial. I did wonder where the moon came from, but I just didn't ask any questions. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like, you yeah, have to go to the moon now. Okay. <laughs> I don't um, actually know if you said extraterrestrial or extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial. I, I hope you said extraterrestrial. Did we say that last time? I've, I've I don't, I don't think we did. I think we missed out on that. Yeah. We, I think no, we dropped the ball. We dropped the egg. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Is that why we're going to the moon? No, unrelated. Oh, <laughs> right. Entirely unrelated. <laughs> Um, no, you wanted. Um, so one of the secrets that uh, Chad bartered the king for, if he defeated 
um, Arctanisraw, the Azure Wrath, the dragon. We did he it. Was, he, was allowed, he was allowed a secret, and then you arm wrestled for more secrets. You almost and, lost the arm on the archery. Yeah. And one of the secrets was that one of his prized possessions that he keeps in the Royal Treasury is an extraterrestrial egg that they found um, about six months ago. Are you going to hatch it? It's they don't know what it is. As long as we don't drop it. We're going to. We're going to scramble we it. To keep yeah. it. Strange. No, we're going to get Dwayne to grow it. Like a it's grow it. Baby. Holes closed. Holes closed. We didn't even put holes up. Hole up. <laughs> we didn't include the egg incubation option in the poll. No. <laughs> Should true, we spend... fans, true fans will know. Yeah, should we spend three months uh, hatching an egg? Or yeah. go to the moon? <laughs> Don't vote if you vote. I mean, those, are, those are tough options. What about yeah. puberty as well? <laughs> yeah. puberty. Finally okay. achieve puberty. Yeah, no, no. puberty is uh, just researching more about puberty and the backstory over a cup of tea. Yeah. Just yeah. researching puberty on the side. Not puberty. phenomenon of puberty. <laughs> <laughs> the other it's, option, uh, we don't play D and D anymore. This is a science podcast. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit in fact that fur bogs don't hit puberty until they're forty. Yeah, everyone knows that. you're coming up. Yeah. So now it's time for me to research. <laughs> I, I truly yeah. cannot cope with Parter going through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> His I'm voice so drops. He gets hair in odd places. <laughs> the best thing about it is that I will be dead by then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my lovers. It's me, Parker. <laughs> All right, Chad, All right ladies. Uh, yeah. Chad does have three three years to live. Yeah, yeah. I will be. I will be fucking stardust at that point. You Great. will have been reincarnated as a three-year-old elf with four hundred years to go. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, with that bombshell, uh, I guess we'll uh, decide where we're going next, next week. Wow. So yes, indeed, on the sixth of October, we will be back here, right in place. So say sweet long <laughs> banana, <laughs> three hundred and fifty-seven <laughs> pounds. What the fuck? Is that? <laughs> Why are we selling banana? <laughs> but well, no, no, no. You you brushed over that used to be a nine hundred dollar banana. <laughs> <laughs> Down to only three hundred and fifty-seven <laughs> pounds. Okay. What a fucking steal. Guys, if we'll pitch in, that was uh, so horrible. Now is the time to just thank our sponsors, Long Sweet Banana. Uh, if you enter the code CRIT10 in Amazon, you can find you can get uh, £573 off your Long Sweet Banana. Our viewers are looking for a Long Sweet Banana. Indeed. Uh, oh, we've just been raided. Uh, we are ending our stream now, unfortunately. But hello to everybody that's raided us. Uh, it's super, super kind of you. Um, that's really good. But we are um, we are now just talking about long sweet bananas and our, our special sponsor that we don't have. Uh, but welcome all of our raiders. It's very lovely for you to be here. And I hope you've had a really good uh, stream on the channel that you're on from Tales of Initiative. So welcome, everyone. Oh, wow. um, Josh, did you click on the banana thing? What is it? What is the banana? I am not it's clicking Lincoln on the sweet long banana. I do not want oh, the sweet long banana. banana. <laughs> <It's a minus laughs> I have a wife and children. I do not want my, my daughter <laughs> down by some dodgy police. All right? Take a screenshot, send it to us. No. <laughs> I no. I don't know what this banana is. Oh, on that bombshell, maybe we'll find out what this long sweet banana is next time. So, uh, thank you everyone that's been uh, in chat tonight. Thank you to all the raiders, all the subscribers, and of course, a big special thank you to all my players. And uh, and a get well to uh, Annie, who's been in the chat this evening as well. Uh, we love you all for being here, and we will see you uh, next week, which is the sixth of October at uh, eight thirty p.m. GMT till uh, around about this time. We're all going to have giant bananas with yeah, us. Bring your fucking bananas. <laughs> yes. Don't forget uh, Crip 10 on uh, sweet, sweet Long Bananas for £573 off your next Long Sweet Banana order. This is not a real ad or a real sponsor. But, um, but yeah. we wish it was. So if you're out there, Long Sweet Bananas. It is a real uh, product, though. Just to be clear. It is a real product. It is a real product, but they're not a real I'll sponsor. Show me your giant egg. Yeah. Okay. And with that, right. I'm going to so end the stream. Genuinely, Alice has oh, right. a giant egg. Look, there's a big oh egg. It's <laughs> a really long egg. <laughs> See? Sweet long Alice egg. And a sweet work. long egg.
<laughs> yeah. Just type if you... in big long sweet banana egg. Yeah. See we love it. Week. See you next week. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>